Welcome to Too Easy. Wait, wait. Say I'm not racist. My friend's black. Like that? Well, I mean, not like how I just walked in. No, do it so mad. I'm not racist. My friend's black. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) I'm going to use that sound clip later. Mm -hmm. And we hear episode 11. You guys, we're on. Yay. Howdy ho. I'm not racist. My friend's black. True. (laughs) And we got a very special guest. We do. Two very special guests. One of my oldest friends. I've known her like four times as long as I've known you. Don't say that. (laughs) No competition. (laughs) That's That's okay. okay. Are you kidding? We've slept in his mother's van together and nothing ever happened. CC CC Fry. (laughs) Yeah. And... The dude chase the dude. Chase. The, the dude. dude. That's literally my full. The dude. Name. You know, I don't want to put you in a box. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Why, why don't that. you guys introduce yourselves and just tell people a little bit who you are and what you do, mm, real quick? Well, I mean, you know, you just, go first. I'm Chase Stockman. Oh, Fuck yeah. Good. What do you want to know about me? Um, like, what's your passion? Or like, what do you love? Like, what do you um, do in LA? You know? Yeah, music. I do music. I Sick. produce music. Uh, singer. Nice. In a group. Um, been out here for eleven years. It's been a journey. He's been out here for years. Dang, I've been out okay. here for years. 11 years. When I first moved to LA, everyone that I talked to that had been here for a while, they said, it's at least five-year program. Yeah, like yeah. it was college yep. or something. Yeah. Yep. It's a five-year program. If you leave before five years, you're not going to be successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't even think that you're going to yeah, be yeah. successful. Needless to say, it was about three or four years until I was Yo, that's so crazy. finally I'm made it. my five-year mark right. this year. Uh, or next year, next right? Year and now, five and year, but mm-hmm. I finally fucking feel like something is like happening. Things are rolling, right? Things yeah. are coming in, and because I'm telling yeah, you, it's, it's crazy. New York and LA, those kind of cities. If you've been there for a while, or if you grew up there, and somebody moves there, like, yeah, cool, good luck. Like, right. let's see how long you last. I had friends that were here; they moved out here for three or four months, and stuff would start happening for them. Mm-hmm. And they would get frustrated and move away. I'm like, what do you expect? Yeah. 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 What do you expect is going to happen? But that's why I don't believe there is such a thing as luck. There's just people that give up sooner than others. Right. I agree with that. Keep hustling and something will happen. By the way, you totally shortchanged yourself. Let me introduce Chase. Yes, introduce each other, actually. Yeah. That's better. I'm so humble. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Chase, he's he's like, yeah, I do music. Uh, no, Chase is a fucking phenomenal artist himself. Yeah. He's a singer, songwriter, producer. He produces other artists. He develops artists. He's a fucking fantastic photographer. He's a video music video director. We own Good Wolf Entertainment together and direct music videos and produce them. But we're a multi- power couple. Oh, t- talking right. to another pack. Oh, Jack um, of all trades but, over here. <laughs> no, like that's why we started Good Wolf Entertainment so that we could all because we both do kind of everything so we yeah. need yeah. something to do that under but right. great photographer director he's an actor as well funny as hell that rhymed and he yo so, boo and he my boo and he, he yo boo fantastic he lover and I like him too <laughs> <laughs> and he looked good he's a fantastic lover <laughs> he do it Feel right. so. he's amazing in bed yeah. oh my god yeah <laughs> I, that was one yeah, of I the lied. questions that I wanted to ask you guys because you're a couple but you guys also write music together yeah. Yeah. Which is scary. Right. That's yeah. what I, that was scary. what I was yeah. getting it's to. It's hard. But yeah, yeah. It's well, really hard. Well, funny enough, well, first I'll say this. This is Cece Fry. Oh God. Yes, let's, let's She's yeah. the shit. Singer, songwriter, director, animator, not animator, uh illustrator. Right. Um costume designer, clothing designer, great lover. Extraordinaire. <laughs> great. That was <laughs> and really I good. Mean, can we Thanks. just talk about, so I've been seeing you on Instagram and I had no fucking idea that you did makeup or whatever the situation is. Oh Girl, yeah, I didn't even say that I'm part, sorry. Um, what is this? Hold on. Oh can Lord. What are we about to. Oh. <laughs> they done hit Google. What are we about to. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They, they on done Google. hit Google. I'm sorry. Uh, wait. Oh yeah. Wait, what Hold is on. it? Oh, that's not it. She's like, that, over here she's like, that's not the one. That one sucked. I don't know what happened. <laughs> all right. We can cut all this up. Don't try it. It's okay. We, it's we, every, everyone else saw it, though. Okay. No, I don't <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We know. Everyone else. Okay, oh, but that? This picture. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh, yeah. So Yo, that's, that. the, that's the other jack of all trades thing, I guess, about well, Let's me. not say that about ourselves, though. Cause <gasps> I, don't like, I don't like to say that. Cause we like, do a lot, but we do all of it no, really No, I'm well. just like a... I get that. <laughs> I, I think on top of being like a singer-songwriter, I like to think of myself as like a visual artist. Yes. 100%. Yes. I, I, I can kind of move in and out of different 
mediums of creating visual art, yeah. especially. You're an artist. So, like, yeah. if I like, if I can paint something on paper, if I'm illustrating something, right? I, I can do that on my face. Like, I know where shadows fall. Yeah. I know where shadows fall on your face. Yeah. I know what different pigments are in your she, skin. Like, she 100%. just did. This is our our my group backwoods next single art. She just did this like yes, yes, yesterday. Yesterday, she just put that together. You drew this song's called yeah. Happy though. She just made that. Isn't that tight? Get motherfucking CC. <laughs> right. Wait, how do we show the? How do we show this? Can you? Oh yeah, sneak peek. I can email it to you if you want to I plug mean, it in after. Sneak peek the, you know the new Here, backwoods single. This. Yeah, you did some great makeup for Pride Month. Yeah, and oh, I think thanks. it was a fun, fun time. Court, court was just blown away. Oh, I, I like appreciate literally that. Got my phone. I was like, have you seen this? I, it's not too impressive, but I do cut my own hair, but and <laughs> dye it and all that shit. It's not that impressive whenever it's this. Short, but you dye your own hair too. Yeah, Cece, who are you? Matt knows all of this. I used to like the leopard print face paint. I used to do that. You did that yourself in the car on speaking, the way to the gig. Speaking or like, of leopard print face paint, Jesus. <laughs> what you got? Um, We're waiting for our, our little thing right now. Oh, you're waiting for the back. Is it working? Art too. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. I know. It's a bunch of shit full. Man, I bet the two y'all got stories too. We have so many we stories. Need some stories. Oh my god! Why? Don't you know even, who I don't randomly? Don't even trip. Don't even trip. No, no, no. We shouldn't do that. I know. I can see it on the little screen. What you're? <laughs> Jesus Christ Almighty. Mm. Oh, what y'all oh got? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Well, this is equally as embarrassing for Matt, too, I guess. <laughs> Double team. <laughs> Look at... Yes. See, that was my first cover art that I, I've graduated oh, from yeah, there. Girl. Like the, the most basic like cover art we could... I think it was the iMovie thing or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Remember Alex yeah. Goikman in Chicago? Oh, dude, yeah. He, uh, he was Wait, crazy. Goikman? Yeah. yeah, what a name, a Goikman, cool name. Goik photo. He was a photographer and he did a bunch of artists. Yeah, Chicago artists. Yeah. Uh, um, there's this called? artist named Cruella who. Cruella. Yo, yeah, we. They were I dope. Saw the artist here. Yeah, they're dope. Yeah. Yeah, two, there's two two, two and sisters a, and yeah, yeah. we didn't know anything about them and then like two years later they had a top ten hit and they're a big EDM slash dubstep yeah. group. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But they were our like. Direct competition in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was just they they were the only other artists in Chicago that took I, photos. I feel like of you guys guy. need to give some people some context about what you guys yeah. like the group they were in. Well, I feel like wait, we don't did know. You, did you ever see the backwards uh single art? I gotta show you that because I feel like no, I, need to I haven't I haven't seen you. this, but for, for everyone that is listening, they're like, what is going on? Yeah, they like, what the fuck? <laughs> Me and Cece <laughs> Like 10 years ago, we, we were in a Longer. group. We were in a group. Longer than that. And it's kind of interesting because it was electro pop. It was rap, hip hop, pop, Tight. electro pop. We both rapped. We both sang. Matt and I you went to- You guys were rapping? Me- yes. Matt and I went to music school together yeah. because we thought, you know, obviously we want to be in music, so let's go to college for it. Right. Um, smart idea. Really smart. We <laughs> got student a, debt later. Yeah. We got one semester <laughs> in. I was there for vocal performance, so I realized after my first semester exam was some fucking Italian opera song. I was like, this isn't exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Probably Ave Verum Corpus. <laughs> some, some shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And I remember you had to help me with my music theory. I don't All know, but I time, think it's French. <laughs> yeah. She's like key a French ass name, Yvonne. <laughs> key of what? Key of what? Like, yeah, what we fuck? had to like learn music theory and shit. And then I don't remember if you came to me or what. I think you did. You were like, we should just drop out and start a band. And I was like. Thank God y'all did. Man. Yeah, I was like, seriously. Fuck yeah. That's how. Did you guys go on tour and shit? That's how bad of an influence I am. I'm like. He made me drop. Yo, <laughs> yo, this is only our first semester of college, but we should give up now. But like, uh, this isn't working right. Quit while we're ahead. Yeah, yeah that, let's do it. Let's skip to the dream. Oh my okay, god. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, but seriously, had I not had someone like Matt be yeah. like, "This is not what we're here to do." We had this conversation. Was it before or after we wrote Animals? It was after, I think. 
We wrote animals in my that was basement. The, that was the that was the tell right there. Yeah. You wrote animals and were like, we do not need school. Yeah. <laughs> we, wrote, we wrote a killer song and we were like, you were like, seriously, this this is what we're going to school for. Yeah. Let's just like start doing shows. Fuck it. And I was like, but luckily I told my parents that and they were like, all right. Sick. Which is very surprising because you're from a rural area. area. Where they're, are you from? They're the most conservative people in every other aspect, except for me chasing my dream for some reason. Like, yeah. They're like, yeah, you, can, you that, can go to school later. That means you're <laughs> raised right, but like still follow your dream. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that is sick. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm from Southern Illinois. Okay, nice. So very small town. Yeah. But Decatur isn't even where I grew up. I met Matt in Decatur because we both went to Milliken. Yeah. But I actually grew up in southern Illinois in a town of, like, 300 people. 300 people? Yeah. Were there black people in that town? No, girl. Wow. No, there was. There was one. Was, he, was the person mixed? There was one. No, there was one black guy mm. in my high school. Yeah. And he was the star of the basketball team. The star and you know of that. the football I've team. I've seen that movie. Was. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was, I, he was. I can't make this up. Yeah. Like, he was the only one, and he slayed everyone. And I was like... It no. was the reason we won championships. So, <laughs> man, j- just to give this all context, you know, we were here with CC Fry. You, a lot of people probably best know you for being on X Factor. Yeah, but yes. it's weird seeing somebody on TV and then contextualizing as, oh, this is just a normal person. They grew up in a town with three hundred people. Yeah, they went to a college. They they went to a performance art arts college, trying to be a singer, mm-hmm. dropped out. Came to, did an audition, yeah, and got on this show. And but then I didn't even. Di- fun fact: I did not audition for the X Factor initially. The X Factor reached out to me, seeing our videos, wow. see, seeing the cover videos that I did after Valhalla. After that, whenever, whenever uh, Patrick he started doing my cover videos. I don't know if you remember that. They hit me up and they were like hey, we really, like, want you to audition. And I was like, I'm not even going to respond to this because I was like, I'd, I'm a serious artist. I don't need to be on the fucking <laughs> yeah. TV I ain't show. no sellout. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a sellout. Yeah. <laughs> but I was working two jobs at the time, and I literally came home from work one day <laughs> in my Dale Southlake Pharmacy smock. <laughs> it's your mic. Oh, sorry. And... um. I was like, fuck it. This is the la- this is like the deadline. So yeah. I just sent this producer. I she was like, just send me a video of you singing. That's it. Like you don't have to go on to the site, nothing. Like just send it directly to me. So I did. I just sent her a quick video and she hit me right back and she was like, we want you to come to Kansas City and meet Simon and Denny oh, and shit. Brittany and all of them and I'm like, well damn. So I guess I got to do this shit now and yeah. I cannot to this day I can't believe it went the way that it did. Yeah. Like, I, I never in a million years, whenever it happened, thought that yeah. it would have ended up the way that Damn. the way that it did. It was insane. I just, yeah. Insane in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the worst. But, like, that's kind of what L.A. is, I guess, is, yeah. like. Trial and error. There's a <laughs> yeah. lot of Fuck. bullshit experiences that kind of surround these pivotal incredible experiences yeah. that you wouldn't get anywhere else. Yeah. So you just got to kind of take the good with the bad and hell's yeah. Okay. True. So we like to ask people fun questions to like get to know them and shit. <coughs> um, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions and you guys both feel free to answer, please. Okay. Um, okay. So first one, if you could make a song with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Damn. Ooh. Oof. Y'all should have sent some preliminary like, questions. I know, well, you know, you know what? Two like top two or top three, whatever you feel like. <laughs> These are the feel, preliminary <laughs> questions. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Dun dun dun. So you don't have to feel locked into anything, you know. Um Jeff so, Jeff Buckley for sure. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. Um Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that that too. Uh man. Whitney. Yep, that's what everyone says. Whitney. Whitney all day every fucking yeah, day. Yeah, but I learned to sing from Whitney. Yeah, like I feel we that. lived in a t- we lived on a gravel road. Yeah, and I wanted to be a singer, and my mom gave me the Whitney Houston cassette tape, 
and sat me down in front of the boom box. Bodyguard and soundtrack. She was like, if you Kevin know, Costner. it was the it was the it was the Whitney one. It was the Whitney yeah, yeah, album. Yeah. Yeah. In, the, in the white tank top with her hair like and her blue eyeshadow and her oh, blue jeans. It was, like, oh, it was just like everything. And my mom was like, "You want to sing? Learn to do it like that." Oof. And that I mm-hmm. I would sit there in front of this boom box Aww. trying to hit all the Whitney notes and. Ah, uh, yes, girl. I can't. Uh. Amazing to have like supportive parents like yeah. that. They're just, yo, I know what you want and I'm going to support <laughs> my dad's you. Like, you want a car, get a goddamn job. <laughs> yo, I'm, like, oh, I'm like, I'm going to sing. My mom's like, I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, my right. mom wasn't like, but listen, keep in mind, it wasn't like my mom was like, oh, you want to sing? Okay, here's $10,000 to go yeah. make your first yeah. record. True. Or here's even. Money for voice lessons. It yeah. wasn't that. It yeah. was like, you want to sing? Okay, figure it out. Yeah. Here's a tool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's all I got for you. But <laughs> it wasn't like, you know what? We're going to uproot our whole life and move you out to LA and we'll all live out there. And there are parents that do that yeah. shit. Fucking their dance kids, moms. Yeah. Like their kids want to be an actor so that the whole family uproots and moves out here so that the kid yeah. can go on some auditions. Must not, be nice. Not my folks. They were like, okay, you want to sing? Learn to do it like that. Damn. Yep. That okay. was it. Next one. If you had to give up either your sight or your hearing, which one would you choose? Mm. Y'all nasty. Uh, <laughs> I have to choose one? Yeah. Oh, no. Um, you, I feel, you could be like Stevie Wonder. I, feel I like was going to say. say. <laughs> no, I feel like. Don't sight. sleep on Stevie. Yeah, I feel like it'd have to be sight. Yeah, because if you can't hear, can you make music? I don't think. I mean, I've. I Beethoven know. was a little deaf, right? Yeah, he was a little deaf. No. One of the classical I'm guys. Deaf in one ear. One, uh, yeah, one but of deaf them and guys. blind, I think. Yeah, like one of them had a, both going on. He had yeah, no, I I know of other musicians and stuff that are like three fourths deaf that have they feel the music. This is the That's move, some special though. people. Though. If you wanna, okay, if you're choosing. Lose your sight, then I'll choose to lose my hearing, and then we can. And we'll just hold hands. And we'll just Gang. get this shit going. <laughs> Perfect that's, answer. That's love. Perfect fucking answer. You guys cheated that question. So I mean, easily. but I'm not mad at though. Though that's what happens. Um, um, we are creative it. problem solvers. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, favorite actor, dead or alive? Ooh, uh, mm-hmm. or top three, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Walking Phoenix. Yes. Tight. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> He's intense. I'll just say that. I, I feel like I could have answered this five minutes ago. No, like, it's cool. It's when you put on the spot. You're like, oh, fuck. No, no, no. I want to give I, the best answer, the most profound my life answer. Is being put on the spot. So like, no, it's fine. Gotta be be entertaining be and go. <laughs> yeah. And go. <laughs> so there's a few favorite actors that I have. <laughs> um, I'll email them to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should know this. Like, I mean, I like top no, three. I know. Movies are Chase's yeah. world. Um. Heath Ledger was one. Oh yeah, sure. yeah. But even in the in the like the darker stuff he did before. Yeah. Um, man, it's that's. I'm gonna like hit myself in five minutes. You know what? Come back to that one for me. Okay, cool. Meryl Streep. Yes. Given. She's. Yeah. These are yeah. These are really like basic answers, but no, I was, it's all I was good. Really it's, no, even if it's the first thing that comes to your head, it's all fucking good. You no, know I do love. I this is another joker, funny enough, but Jared Leto. Yeah, as an actor, yeah, he's always real. kills it. Like all Dallas the way back Buyers the, Club. Yeah. Oh, have you ever so seen the movie yeah. Highway? I don't think so. I'm it's at Jake it. Gyllenhaal Wait. and Jared Leto when they were like teenagers. Okay, yeah. it's, Adding it's to my one of my list. favorite movies. You should watch it. Um, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I just watched a fucking freaky ass movie with, uh, with him. It's called Enemy. Have you seen it? Yeah, with the spider. What the hell? No. No. no, what was up with is. that? I, yeah. know, I didn't. Oh, it's not that. about that, but it just. No. That's oh, I was yeah. Like, I no, that movie was like halfway interest. through. I'm like, what is happening? I'm still like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, like, right? what the fuck? I'm just haunted, having nightmares. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this shit. I don't watch. Sense. I don't watch that scary shit. Follow my psyche. I For real, can't do it. <laughs> um. Okay. Shake Shack or In and Out? Oh, In and Out. In and Out. I don't even know what Shake Shack tastes I'm like. I'm fucking Shake Shack all day. Yo, is Shake Shack here? Yeah. Shake Shack. Why is no? If you want to get a good burger in the airport. Shake Shack. Okay. You're a hater, cuz. <laughs> okay. No, but if Five you Guys, get though. get a good burger anywhere you know else what? Five Guys, though. Okay. The fries at if Five Guys. If you're into the greasiness. Them of shit's the, hit. The mm-hmm. fries at Five Guys are where it's at. You can get them Cajun. Cajun. Oh, what's mm-hmm. that one milkshake that they had that we always get? Oh, I just, I just get a vanilla milkshake and I add a bunch of shit to it. Yeah. yeah. Oreos. Or dipping them fries. 
Strawberries, bacon. bacon. You can put That's bacon right. in it. There's a bacon you can put Oreo anything in a milkshake. <laughs> yeah, I know you was not putting bacon in your milkshake, bro. <laughs> no, for real. No, so we didn't. Oh and my god. I was a high. I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Um, one thing you wish you learned in your twenties that you oh. wish you knew earlier. So one thing we did learn in our twenties, wish we were knew earlier. Yeah, like one thing you wish you knew at the beginning of Yo, your twenties. Piano, man. Yeah. Like full on. Yes, oh, yes, like yes, full yes, on piano. yes. That's such yes. a different response than I was going to say. No, I, yeah, it can go either way. My, or how to survive as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> no, mine was just that, like, not everybody wants the best for you. Yeah. I don't, th- I don't think I really mm-hmm. got that naive. until. Yeah. I think I'm still pretty naive. But, like, in the beginning of my 20s, I was like. Yeah, all of us. I was like, people are good. <laughs> People are good yeah. people. Yeah. You know they, what? They, I think it's not it, gonna hurt you on purpose. They're, you know, like no. Yeah. yeah. No. I think will. it depends where you live because if you have a town that has three hundred people, there's a chance that all three hundred people do want you yeah. to succeed. True. True. Not that as some weird true. ass uncles up in there, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But past that, LA is just a different place. It is it very is. much yeah. so. I agree. With LA that. is a crash course of. Yeah. When you get when you find good people here. You notice you, you, you latch on, you don't. Yeah, let go. yeah, that's yeah, true. I mean, you gotta find your like, tribe, man. I can count them on two hands. Seriously, maybe. Maybe. that's right. Okay, and then last question: You get to party with one celebrity. Post so Malone. Like, yep. Post Malone. Yeah, I just. You I, can't keep up with him. <clears throat> maybe. Girl. <laughs> you know what? I uh, I we played a show with him once in Norway, and he's not as crazy as you would think. But that's why, because I've had friends party with him and be in the studio with him, and I just want to drink beers and watch him smoke cigarettes and talk. Yes. <laughs> he seems like he'd have some really good stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah his yeah. biggest vice is Bud Light. Ick. Which I can afford. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ick. Okay, I'm just Ick. saying. Listen, I've graduated from Bud Light, too. No if I was of offense pose, but yeah. I'll be drinking a Modelo or something on the side. But yeah, a little cocktail. Is that even a graduation <laughs> from Bud Light? Yeah, Modelo, hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm trying to think it's got of that gold shit on yeah. it. Yeah. So you know it's good. You know? Nobody it's the champagne of beer. Mm. Yeah, I would say. Uh, Miller. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> or Michelob. What is that? What's the champagne of beer? That's, Dos Equis? Uh, Miller Light, what, isn't it? Or uh, Milwaukee? Or so, what is that? I don't There's know. There's actual beer that's like. What are talking about? <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Cool, moving on. Sick, sick. I feel like I'm not a beer drinker, though. I don't know why. I feel like it makes mm. me really full or something. I don't like beer. Do you get that vibe? Bloated. Bloated, Bloated vibes. Yeah. I don't Bloated. really love alcohol in general. Oh, you don't? I like whiskey and tequila. I do. <sighs> you know, it's, I am just a party fucking animal. Sorry, mom. I, I really am. And it's like, I'm trying to like wean myself off of that phase but it's just so much fun you guys i'm an aquarius and i'm just like it i love to fun. hang out i love to talk like make music man. talk to me it's fucking just like that's me too yeah. i like to do She's all that i like to do all that stuff too but i feel like maybe i just need to hang out with, with you more no whenever we're no because no for real please take <laughs> I, I, don't think that take I, I want her to enough. call me at 11 30 p.m one night and be like i'm drunk with my girlfriends i'll uber home later and me be like cool oh the problem 11 30 i'm like 4.30. No, I know. <laughs> no, I know. No, that's, but that's I'm a point. night owl. That's like, I'm point. in the studio at 3.30, and we're still, like, cooking. Like, Same. hey, let's go. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. That's his point, mm. though, is that, like, I, the problem is, is that all of my, the majority of my girlfriends are all, like, 10 years older than me. And they Got all it. have children. children. And, but it's because what I have found is most women my age, I just, like, most of them I just don't vibe with mm-hmm. because my, my brain is not, my brain is so on the things that I want. Yeah, I get My that. brain don't work right. <laughs> don't work right. <laughs> it's hard to get her to like, party for a second. I just want to yeah. like go out and like be able to party, but it'll hit 1130 and I'll be like, but I'm supposed to do I could be home sketching. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I'm sketching my mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Drop all my influence right now. I'm That's under the great. influence. Influencing. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Yeah. Gosh. I feel like we're so boring. No. So what are your favorite movie? Like we don't know. No, it's totally it's fine. It's because I overthink those types of questions. No, because you you know a lot of people come on here and, and they do overthink because they want to be profound. And they want to give the right answer, but sometimes it's just like the first thing that comes to your brain. You know. Right. It's all good. It's yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah, I'm sure you had this same thing when you did the whole X Factor thing and you did press and all that. But when you're an artist, no matter how many interviews you do, 
They ask you the same questions every they time. Sure do. They do. The I same know. questions. But that's sure why do. I'm trying. I, I try for not years. To give the same yeah, for years. And, yeah. and we've all seen how so that true. goes for me. Yeah. In the in these scenarios, so I've gotten. Wh- very how does it go? Careful. Whatever do you mean? Yeah. Cece? yeah what do you mean, Cece? <laughs> no, I was like, I was created into this bitch character. Role. Yeah, you know, you know what's funny is when I did watch the, the like the oh god, reruns, you watch stuff. Sorry, Cece. Uh-oh. We got to do mean, the research. Watching, we had to do our research, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, they kind of playing Cece. Like, made her seem like she was a bitch. I'm like. I don't, mm. But that was probably for like the ratings and like trying to get the show tight. And I'm like, damn. And they told her what they were doing when they were doing it. Yeah, I'm not like. Oh hell no. They told me they. they They're like, is, you're gonna change reality TV forever. That's that's their <laughs> yeah, way. I met, of I met the okay producer of that show. I went and did stood in with for some Nick Lachey <laughs> TV show thing that they were doing, and uh, I met the producer that did X Factor and was like, hey, the executive you know, producer yeah, you know, also is executive. producer. You know, CC and he shook my hand. He was like, she changed how. What it is, I guess reality TV is, or how unscripted television is. She changed that. She gave it a narrative. That's what CC did for TV and for like and for, mean, for and singing competitions it's, and whatever. And I was like, I hey, didn't damn. know that, but <laughs> also my yeah. other producer friend that was also working on that show that that got chased to go in and do that. He was like doing a favor for them, and so he went in to like stand in as a fake contestant for this yeah. screen test that they were doing. He was there when that happened, and he called me afterwards, and he was like. Mm-hmm. Dude, the EP of X Factor was here and just like essentially told a room of people that you changed the way that reality TV is shot yeah. because you were the contestant that came on and was like, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Yeah. And and you just like knew how to play the game. And like at the time, if a, if a producer tells you like, hey, just like. Go over there and <laughs> see what they're singing. Yeah, just go over there and talk <laughs> to Tell them. Tell what like, you think about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just say, hey. Uh, eh, could have been like, better. I have an act. Go over there and be a bitch. No, it kidding. wasn't like that. It was more just like, they they knew that I was not afraid to go in and like start conversation with people. And they also knew that like. How old were you when you were on the show? 20, 21. Oh gosh, yeah, so young. I was a baby. You're like, a baby. I had never even been outside of my hometown before. And this oh, producer fuck. was like, hey, if you follow my instructions, I'm going to take you all the way to the top of the show. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Is Loki trying to like mind fuck people? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. And I think that's one of the reasons we wanted to bring it up is because I don't think people watching at home understand that these are real conversations that are happening behind the scenes yeah. to make these shows happen. But also you can look at it and be like, it's messed up, but also People wouldn't be watching if, if none that of that happening. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And here's the thing. I looked at this producer. <clears throat> this happened at my first audition. I won't get into the whole conversation, but it was essentially like, hey. Well, I'll tell you because it's a fucking good story. Yeah, tell us. Yes. Yes. Like, Let's oh, do you. it. I walk in. This was fresh out of the holidays. I still had like the same like emo shag haircut with like leopard print on one side of my face and leopard <laughs> and a leather shorts. And... I thought, like, I was, like, at this big audition in Kansas City, and this guy comes up to me and my parents and was like, so, uh, you're Cece Fry, right? And I was like, yeah, how do you know me? Like, I'm like a baby. I'm like, how do you know me? Oh, my God. And he was (laughs) like, oh, I know all about you. I've seen all your videos. I was like, okay. And he goes, uh, you any good? Ah. And I said, yeah, I think I'm. Like, have you yeah. seen my shit or yeah, not? <laughs> I th- yeah, I think so. I think so. I think I'm pretty good. He goes, well, that answer sucked. Oh. And I said, okay. Uh, I, just, I didn't know what to fucking say. And he yeah. goes, uh, are you going to get four yeses from the judges today? And I said, well, I've been looking around at the other contestants, and I can honestly say I think I got just as good a shot as anybody else. Yeah. And he goes, I'm bored. Damn. Say something exciting. Aww. And I was like, what are you talking about? He was just like, I'm bored of that. Like, people, like, just don't, like, buy into this humility bullshit. Yeah. Is what he told me. And I was like, I said, well, I think that throughout my life, I've really, like, worked hard to balance confidence and humility. So I don't know what you want me to say. And he goes, well, Simon wants a killer this year. And I want to see if that's going to be you. A killer as in, like, somebody's ready to go hard. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and I and he goes, so I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you gonna get four yeses from the judges today? And I said, you bet your ass I am. 
cutie. And he goes, perfect. That's the girl you're going to be from here on out. Got wow. It. Fuck. And I said, but I don't want to be the bitch of the show. And yeah. he was like, I'm not going to make you the bitch. I'm going to, like, he, he dun, basically dun, dun. said, I'm not going to make <clears throat> you the bitch. Yeah. But we have, like, but basically just saying, like, it's TV. Do you think it was worth it, though? Like, or, like everything you went through and, like, having to, like, they forced that narrative and shit? Like, was that worth it? You cool with that? Like, the way it turned out? Or do you feel like it, it made you look a certain way? Because some people are like, I don't give a fuck how I look. Like, I got where I needed to get. And then some people are like, no, like, that's not who I truly am. I don't vibrate that way. No, I, I think at first I had a problem with people seeing me be confident because I think as a woman we're not allowed to be. 100%. And it was and it was really shitty to see people hate me so much yeah. for being so sure of myself. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. yeah. However, what I what I don't agree with and what I wish wouldn't have happened is whenever things were edited to to really be a different thing than what I would say. Oh like, yeah. There was a couple times that like that they would make it <clears throat> they would edit pieces together of me being like. I'm glad that she messed up and like things like that. Yeah. I would never say shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Will I come out and tell you, hey, I'm fucking awesome at what I do. Yeah. Just wait and see what I'm about to right. do. Right. That fuck yeah. It took me a long time to be okay with being that way. Yeah, girl. But like if you don't believe in you, no one else is gonna believe fuck in you. Fuck no. I mean, like, is there any legalities? Like, can they just do that shit? Absolutely. That's the contract that's, you that's sign, girl. Contract. They bogus. Setting the record straight with CeCe Fry. No, it's like that's that. fucked up. That part sucked. But, like, at this point, I think that because of someone else said this to me during, while the show was happening, one of the, the writers that was helping, like, do the different songs that we would do yeah. every week. Mm -hmm. He said, because it bothered me all season. I was like, People hate me. Yeah. People hate me. And he goes, they don't just hate you. There are just as many people that fucking love you. Yeah. And that whenever people say shitty stuff, they fight back hard yeah. at those people. And you want to be either loved or hated, but never liked because the liked people are forgotten. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's I kind know. of true, and though, isn't it? I was like, it? damn, like, that's actually true. true. Like, but here's the thing. As creators, as we are disruptors. Yeah. And it was disruptive at the time to be a woman being like, I'm about to bring the CC Thunder here. Because what year camp. was this? Like 2012. Okay. Damn. Women are supposed to be <sighs> yeah. the quiet Fifth Harmony girls that yeah. were like, we're sweethearts and we're just here right. to like, you know, like, yeah. and they are genuinely sweethearts, but I'm a different type of woman. Well, yeah, yeah. you're also... They were, yeah. very, they were a lot younger than yeah. me. <clears throat> but you know what, though, I always think about? Like, who are the motherfuckers that watching them shows, like, and calling in and shit? Because it just ain't my friends and me. It's I feel like there's a certain type of caliber of people who, it's like. middle America, like, though. Middle America. That's exactly. Like, call in like, America. I fucking hate that bitch. I'm like, bro, Yo, I gotta go to Yo, when CC was on, I was watching every week. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you have an emotional mm -hmm. attachment to CC, so that's different than from, like, someone who's in <laughs> fucking. Did you really watch every yeah, week? Yeah. My family's like, yo, like, CC. Oh, my God. That's great. I love that's you so much. You know what I'm saying, though? Like, tell, fucking. Chase, tell, you tell them the story about. When you saw the show. Yo, I was in a band at the time. Yeah. And uh, we were watching X Factor and she came on and me and my bandmate both went dibs right when she came on TV. You're and then I, lying. No. And then I met her. Ten years later. Was ten, that Sorry. was 2012, Sorry, sweetie. Eight years later. Seven years later, I met her in a writing, a blind writing session. And the whole time I'm like, yo, this girl looks mad familiar. Man. And I had my buddy. I was like, yo, that chick we called dibs on. I'm Got in the her room with her right now, bro. It's Got her done. ass. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't the happen. universe it didn't quite happen. Didn't quite go that way. Like that. We were friends first. But yeah. How long have you guys been dating? Two years. Last month. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Last month. Same with us. Two years. Last month. Yeah. July twelfth. July sixth. Oh. What's up, y'all? Hey. Two years. Oh yeah. God. Two we years. We started dating. Day like out. We gonna start time. doing our anniversaries together. Oh. How long did you guys know each other before you started dating? <laughs> like, a, like a day? That's Shut all it really? took. <laughs> <laughs> we did not. Don't you lie. He's like, what up, girl? It was no. like an apartment no ho. It was like opening no. line in the DMs. Okay. No, he's we not fucking lying. lying. Do not if, listen to him. When you know, you know. <laughs> he is lying. It just took us a while longer <laughs> we, to get there. We yeah. actually met on Raya. <gasps> oh yeah. God, and I was, I was living in New York. 
Yeah, and he's the first person that I ever like connected with. And I was living in New York at the time. I was living in Soho. And we had our first date, and he flew in and took me to see Aladdin on Broadway. Damn, Matthew. Son. Well, look, I never, I never best. been to a Broadway show, so you know it was, it was fun for both of us. It was like a new experience. Oh, but time. you took me to all these cool bars. There were some speakeasies, yeah. which I've been to a couple speakeasies, but not like that in New York, mm-hmm. where we would go up. There'd be a phone booth. Phone booths don't exist anymore, guys. If there's a phone booth, it's not real. It's a club. Yeah. We, <laughs> pick, we yeah. pick up the phone. There's a secret door. We go in. There's only 10 people in this bar. Yeah. And, of course, my first thought is, how is this shit making money? Yeah. yeah. There's right. only 10 people because, that can fit in here at a time. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's just so exclusive that, like, they can charge, like, 20 bucks a drink. Right. So it works out. Yeah, yeah. It's called Please Don't Tell. So if you guys are in New York, it's mm-hmm. fucking amazing. And Which then, is funny because the only club we've been to. And they're like, yeah. Yeah. The first place we went with y'all was uh, was it Breakroom eighty six? Yeah, Break it was another 86? speakeasy. It was just like that. Oh, yeah. It was just yeah. like that. We had so much fun that night. That, that was, was a fun. So night. That was my dancing? birthday. We were dancing and taking shots of tequila. We were dancing. Oh, we were doing I, you shots. and I kept buying tequila. That's all I remember. I remember. As you kept going, do you like tequila? I'm like, this is the third one you've bought me. Yes, I do like tequila. Like, <laughs> it's your birthday. Real, I think That's that birthday. was the last time I was out <laughs> at a bar. Yeah, dancing at a club. Like, damn, that was like. 2019 and shit. I miss the club and I miss the bars. That was a, that was a simpler time. Fuck. A simpler yeah. time. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to rent a house in Palm Springs and have everyone get a COVID test just like as your entry ticket. I just took one. And yeah, we did too. Positive. And I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? I'm like, we're just thinking. We're clear. We're clear. Abort. I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, but I think I want to rent a house and have everyone like do a COVID test. And then just throw a fucking rager. Yeah. I was, ju- I literally just texted my friends today and said, what do you guys think about getting a Palm Springs house in Done. August? And let's all go there and just spend a weekend and everybody make sure they're safe and tested. Yeah. yeah. I just texted my friend that today. So let Look go. at the universe. Yeah, let's go. Let go. Let's do I'm it. serious. Yeah, I just. And y'all are fun. We like, yeah. we like good, fun people. That's what he said. Mm. We, I was like, hey, we're going to go uh, be on Matt and Courtney's podcast. And he goes, wait. Wait, what? Matt and Corn? Like, yeah. I, I was like, remember? we're too fun to have a podcast. I was like, remember I was like, Matt and Corny? He was like, he goes, oh yeah, I remember Corny kept buying me shots and we kept oh. dancing. It was like yeah. the best night Sounds ever. Right. Yo, yeah. Sounds yeah. Right. No, he was like, no, but you know, how, like when you become a couple and like all these other couple friends want to hang out with you, and some of those couple friends you're like, because some of these couples are low key like cheating on each other, like being fucking right, weird. and like, like and like <laughs> fighting every five minutes in the car. It's just like. I don't know if I want to go out with that couple. <laughs> want to be involved? Like, in I just want to go hang out and like let loose. Like, yeah. is it. this going to make my night better or worse? Right, exactly. I'm going to be surprised, like how many couples we know. How, how much? How much therapy am I going to be given from the back seat? <laughs> oh, God, seriously. But uh, you, so, you, do you guys write songs together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love you guys. It's it's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy to write together. If, if we're writing alone together, it's actually harder. Yeah. It, especially at home because my studio is at at home right yeah. now. Yeah. And um, I think it's just like isn't everybody's kinda, yeah, right? But you forget, like you forget to cut off like the couple thing. Yeah, it's so hard. It's it's and so hard as a guy. I can only do one thing at a time. Right. If I'm working. I'm working. Mm-hmm. If I'm socializing, I'm socializing. <laughs> right. I'm, just, I'm and, a social project. Right. 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 <laughs> and, yeah. And so then so you're and then yeah, you're in a session yeah, yeah. and you're like. Pay attention. <laughs> right. Stay on task. <laughs> right. And you're like, oh, fuck. That's not or something. Or I'm singing a melody real loud. And she's like, can you, I'm trying to record a melody myself, bitch. It's like, <laughs> oh, my bad. That shit. was our last fight was we were, it was one morning and I think I was painting on the table, but then I was, we were, you started a track. I started writing a song and just singing melodies and recording them. No, and she's painting behind me. And she, apparently she was yelling, chase, chase the whole <laughs> you time. Hear. And I'm like already. right in between the monitors just like. Yeah, let's go. He's got his voice member going, singing at the top of his lungs. And don't say that you just started writing it. We were we were supposed to start writing. I didn't know you could paint and write at the same time. See, you get it. The I already excluded. I was like, well, she's not writing. She's painting. Yeah. First of all, we're women. We can do anything. We can multitask. No, oh, I know this. <laughs> believe me, I have learned. I've got you, I've right. learned. So he's over there, and I'm like, you know, whenever you've got like a quick melody that's like right there, and it's about to like fly away if you don't get it out and I was like trying to find my phone and then I got it and then I was trying to lay it down and this one's between the speakers just belting like coming up with like and you know it was groovy too like so loud she was hidden it was freestyle rapping like at the top of his lungs and I'm like Chase 
Chase. And Chase. it's gone. Yeah. Gone. But I was like, take your phone in the other room, record it, man. And yeah. it was gone. Or tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> but that tat, was our, tat, yeah. Tat. It, it, it is difficult writing together as a couple sometimes. Yeah, it's hard. But then, like, when you hit, it's like it's it's extra special. It's like, yeah. oh, wow, only the two of us could have come up with that together. You know, It's yeah. that scene in High School Musical where Zac Efron and Absolutely. Vanessa Hudgens harmonize together and they High realize what? And they're like, in love. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's what it is. Karaoke. <laughs> Every yeah. musician just, I'm going to meet somebody like that because of Disney Channel ruining it yeah. for everyone. Yeah. That's how I thought it would be. I'm like, people actually yeah. watch that? High School Musical? Yeah, they they made it. like three or four of them. So. I've never seen that shit day in my life. I think that shit made a lot of money too. A Did lot. It? Let's yeah. be lot honest. If I went back and watched the original, the first one. The first High School Musical, I would still think it is great. Yeah, I got to watch it then. It's All right, I'll good. watch it. You would like it. I'm a tap man. I never did watch it, but what? I did freestyle battle Zac Efron. Oh, oh this I might be a funny part. Of, oh, never mind. I don't, no, I'm just saying this might be a story we need to I don't know. ask. About. No, we just uh, a bunch of it's mutual friends story. all went to uh, Big Bear for New Year's a couple years ago, and we all just kind of got wasted and and partied and ended up everyone. Every time I'm with a group of friends, a lot of my friends are like, anytime someone's freestyling, it's like, Chase. Go, Get your go. ass in there, And I'm Chase. always the guy that's like, no, dude, I don't need to like go yeah. freestyle battle. This it's like, I don't need to go freestyle battle. But when Zach and they were like, let's all right freestyle now. battle, I was like, okay, this is probably going to be something memorable. So yeah. he's actually really good, too. You know, No, but what did you say? Because I know you remember it. You he had a, me this he had a must time. He had a mustache. Zach, sorry about this, but he had a mustache. Oh, for the Netflix uh, Ted Bundy. It may, I don't know if it was for that or if it was just him trying out the mustache. That's the only but movie was, he's had a mustache in, I'm telling you. And he <laughs> had know, a shaved face. And he, the timelines match up. Maybe. But but Zach was like, his rule was like, we're not coming at each other. Positive. Which I liked. Yeah, that's tight. But of course I start rapping and I was like, I said something like, uh, what's that mustache? Uh, look like you touch little kids. Oh my uh, goodness. I'm going to keep rapping like you're 17 again or something like that. Yeah, that's okay. It's yeah. so, but that's it's as far so, as it went. And everyone, he even laughed. Everyone's like, oh my. It's God. so unfair if you're Zach Efron because you know <laughs> so everything much about him. So much <laughs> ammo. He, so much. <laughs> he was everything. on Disney Channel. I'm just over here on Google, you know like, blah, blah. I mean, my Boy. story was going to be I saw him in IKEA once and he's got good taste. Yeah. He, he was going for, not I, was trying think of, I was trying to think of an Ikea name. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was going for the, the Kamua scavern, bed. The, the, the scavern. <laughs> yeah. The scars guard dresser. Yeah. The uh, Havard. Uh, uh. <laughs> Boy, bye. Uh, Absolutely fucking not. Going with the uh, the dark brown mall Vatog. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, seriously. I, Sweet. I wanted to bring it back a little bit. I know you guys work on music together, and you had you just had new music coming out. A month or two ago. Uh, like two weeks Daisies. ago. Daisies. Daisies mm-hmm. came out. Yeah. Right. So do you guys write, do you help CC write her music? I did one song off her last record. Sick. Um, but Daisies, she actually did with... Um, Johnny you know? Blue, Sean Johnny Hamilton, and Reezy. Reezy Tunes. Yeah. Don't one. Good team. They're a great team. What they, would you say your music is like? like? What's the vibe? Like, you know, what would you categorize yourself? If you had to categorize yourself, is it like pop or is it like... You know what I mean, I feel like it's, maybe it's a hard question, but it, it, it it's my least favorite. But yeah, I'll for sure. It but you know, I some people you. Can get context yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know, no, yeah, of yeah. course, I'll answer it because I love you. Um, I think my sound right now is like a pop alternative sort okay. of vibe. It's like, it's like if it's like a female. I don't even There's know. a little gospel, there's know. a little hip hop. Okay, there's I like a little that. Everything. I like that. It's so definitely like, it's since pretty. we knew each other, you went from this synth based electro pop vibe yeah and now it feels a lot more organic organic Raw, instruments organic, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. stomps claps like think like i really for the last project anyway i really wanted to use a lot of sounds that like you can make and like and and if yeah mm-hmm. i mean that sounds so stupid no be no, 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 like, yeah. but and then like if we needed to like affect the hell out of that then great you know what i mean but i just wanted yeah it bang to on some feel, pots and pans yeah and i just wanted it to feel very raw and very organic because at the time i i just i was in a, a a weird place and i was like i i kind of call that record like my i don't even know 
I feel like it's growing up record. Yeah, like yeah. Daisy's is like if you really listen to Daisy's, the the lyrics of it are like. So the the chorus of it, the lyric is literally, "I'm not ashamed of being broken. There's a hole in me, but now the light gets in. Here lies the girl, but not the woman. R.I.P. Pushing up Daisy's. So it was like literally putting to rest the little. Girl, uh, that girl yeah. who moved then, to LA, and then yeah. The, yeah, and then the woman that grew out of her grave, essentially. So that shit deep. So, but that's like the Six encompassing feet. the entire. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend that I want to introduce you to so fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, she hot. No, <laughs> no, it, no. It's a guy. He he's, he writes for Warner Chapel. He's a publishing dealer, and he's just like yeah, he writes for Beyonce. And he's a black dude, and you just remind me of him a lot. I'll be in, I'll jump yeah. in those sessions too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Can, can I just guess who you're talking about? Shut up. I'm still Probably waiting. One of my favorite people in the world. Is it germ? germ? Yes, it's Germ. It's you remind germ. me of him a lot. Germ. Um, I feel like I've... Germ. Germ. Or do you know Yusufer or like? Yusi did my last record. That's his best friend. I know. I know who you're talking. You about. You know Germ. Yeah, I've met That's Germ one, of my you know one time. Yusi? I know Yusi very well. Yeah. And my he's his girlfriend Maya. Mm-hmm. Oh I love them. God, yeah, you see, uh, you know what's funny is like, so I'm in that world, mm-hmm. but so I sing, but I don't sing. I can sing, but I don't sing. But you have a beautiful um, voice. Thank and you. you. Should sing. Mm-hmm. We won't. <laughs> we won't get on that. That's but, next podcast. Yeah, that's the next one. <laughs> um, but I'm in this world of writers, and like, so you see, and like, you know, like Captain Cuts, and like JP, and like all these people, I'm just like friends yeah, with, yeah. and I'm like, this is cool. We're like party, and they like bust out and like fucking write a song in front of me. So I'm like, I just try to connect people because I'm yeah. like. I would yeah, love no. I would love to work with him, man. I've, yes. I've actually been talking to uh to UC. I think he's in Finland right now. Yeah. But we were talking about when he gets back grabbing lunch and yeah. just maybe re exploring Yeah. Jumping back in together, man. Fuck yeah. That kid that kid I, I drove him to Warner Chapel yeah. to sign his deal. He was living yeah. at, at my house yeah. at the time. What? I love yeah. UC. Yeah. You know what? UC is one of the kindest souls that I've ever met. He's so cool. I love that and man. You can we tell he's we not have a malicious. crazy bond. Bro. You know what I mean? He's not it's like his intent is good. Yeah, he wants the best for everybody. He really, really does. But he he's really grown does. a lot, man. I've watched that kid just sprout, and I'm super yeah. proud, like super proud of him. Yeah. Getting like going from like, you know, he actually was the person that uh, after my band was the first producer that, when I started doing solo stuff, that really pushed me to like explore other parts of my voice and, and my yeah. my artistry as well. And he I would get in there and be like I'd be like, that's a high C sharp, I can hit that. He'd be like, hit it. And he plays piano. Piano, guitar. Oh. The kid plays everything, man. He's very, so talented. Very talented producer. I have a lot of a lot of U C on my Instagram I'm like from back in the day. Way. Yeah. I love For him. real, right? Yeah, no, he's such a good dude. Yeah. He's a good one. Oh man. Writers are crazy, I feel like. I just I love them, but they're also we just are. like meh like fucking like ready true. to we are, we're emotional athletes. Yeah. Definitely. Isn't it weird when you're in a big city like this and you live there for a couple of years, you realize it's such a small circle. It's no, it tiny. Is. It is. And I tell people that too, who, who are new here too. Yeah. I'm like, when you start ending up in the same rooms with the same, same people or different rooms with the same people. Yeah. And everyone, like when you meet people and somehow y'all know every one of the same people, that's L.A. Six That's just what L.A. is. Exactly. That's Everything is. else is these people who come here and get, it's like a tornado. It's like, whoosh, not, not, not you, not yeah. you. It's a most of the people here aren't doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> we you know like what I'm when, whenever I think you, you came out before I did. And then I came out here and I was like, L.A. is so big. Like me and Matt are like never going to cross paths. Yeah. And then, you know, thank God, obviously, we reconnected. Yeah. <laughs> Lydia, we miss you. Um, and then. <laughs> But then what, we were just in the studio with Walt, and Walt was like, oh, yeah, um, we were just working with cheat codes, and da 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 I was like, cheat codes? I was like, you know that? And I think I texted yeah. you at the time. I was like, you know Walt? And all them, like, it's just crazy. Like, yeah. that's Walt one used of, to manage me back in the day. Walt is one of yeah. Chase's oldest friends, and, like, I don't know. That's crazy. He's scared. got good energy, for sure. Yeah, so Walt, yeah. shout out to Walt real quick. Shout out to Walter Horn. Walter um, Horn, we love Walter you. Walter Horn. Love, love. We, he helped us do our live performance because yeah. cheat codes is a dj project but we started adding live instruments mm-hmm. and he was a big we Tour. wouldn't have been able to do it without mm-hmm. him we did yeah. we, we honestly did two live shows before the lockdown and then everything locked down we were going to do like a whole new set yeah. everything Denver. locked down mm-hmm. so wow. it so it is what it is, but we love walt and yeah la is small walt. It's LA tiny, is small. Man. LA it's is tiny. too damn small can we shift gears for a second why do i feel like i never hear you sing <laughs> please, please talk shit. about it. Please fucking talk about it. Because talk I about always it. hear the, sh- the shit, mm. and I'm like, mm. this ain't Matt. 
This ain't Come Yo, we got, we got some new stuff coming. I just, I've been doing sessions and I don't know if you guys are on TikTok. Dude, I just, I just started and everyone around me is like, bro, get on it. But there, it there's a song, there's a song that Cheat Codes did I'm gonna play four or five shit. years ago called yeah. Hold On. Yeah, it's me, it's quick. me singing. Mm-hmm. It was big in Germany. And for whatever reason, it will not die on TikTok. Oh my God. It's I called Hold it. On. No. <laughs> I, I want to hear it. This is it. This is it. Yeah, play it. There's about. That's that's, that's Matt's voice. Of, oh, this is perfect. That is so TikTok, TikTok of, bro. Of course, this is big in Germany. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> like, I, well, I expect the German guy to start talking over that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Spotty is crazy. So there's. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to be like, "Don't do it, Chase." It's yeah, okay. yeah, dance, tanzen and tanzen, yes. and drinking, yeah. I don't think that was <laughs> boy. I, don't think that Ooh, was true. I need an L. But that, that's why <laughs> the, guys, the same person. You guys are alienated. <laughs> we should hang out. The yeah, German we should community. be real friends. <laughs> yeah. The, I thought we were, but okay. I mean, but you, no, 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 no. Okay, so only on camera, just, y'all. No, no, it's not that we're real friends, but I feel like you know, because you know, you meet a lot of good people, and then people let their schedules get in the way, and so of course. We, we will make an effort. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. it is important to us, and to, we to will. Meet but things naturally same unfold too. 100. I'm in a better place now process. than I was last time I saw y'all. Absolutely, you know, I could Absolutely. be a better friend to you now yes. than I could have been six months. That's ago. right. That's right. And that's Amen. why I hit up CC. I'm like, yo. It's time for y'all to be on the podcast. Yeah. What's Let's fucking good? I'm trying to get that cheat codes feature. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think I know. I think randomly. <laughs> wait, Matt, did you tell her that I hit you up not a week before that? No. No. No, I, I did tell you that, but yeah. Did you? I, I said CC wanted to get dinner with us. So why is it you oh, guys no, don't no, he did. listen to each other? He did tell me that. Oh, I was going to say that's so bizarre. No, no, but you know what? He only told me that after I brought you up, though, because I think you were like, yeah, so CC wants to hang. She I trying to throw me under the bus. You see what she's doing? No, mm-hmm. I'm actually fucking just telling this shit. I'm gonna mm-hmm. let y'all know right now because look. Listen, <laughs> let's turn the tables here. So, uh, what's up with the communication issue? What's in y'all up? Relationship? No, I thought it would. Oh, be, I thought it was gonna be <laughs> really Dr. cool. Phil. I thought it was gonna be really cool if he didn't, and you out of the blue said that because he I didn't. hit him up and I was like, "Bro, why are we like? Yeah, we're, we're, we're COVID free. We gotta like." Come Let's on. Go. Let's it's time to socialize. You need a too easy button. Too easy. Yeah, you're right. We do have some buttons. I, I fuck it. Do these work? Too easy is not the name of the No, podcast. I know, but it's on your headphones and it's here. Oh. Yeah, turn the And I just keep wanting to say no, no, no. too easy. The fader. Oh, there you go. There is a Try. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You ready? Okay, yes, wait, hold yes. on. One, two, three, go. Welcome back to US 101. Today's country and rock. Next up, we have CC Fry with a long distance dedication to Matt. Matt, thanks for getting me on X Factor and disappearing. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sound effects just make everything better. They do. It does. Free, free, free. Oh, my God. That's Don't cute. get him going with that shit because we'll be. We'll here. have a whole different show happening. All night. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I- I don't want to get too random, and if you don't want to answer this, that's fine. I'll but I'm, but I'm, cur- I'm curious because I think a lot of people don't understand when there's a reality show or like a singing competition, what goes on behind the scenes. And I know you had to sign some sort of contract just to be on the show. Yeah. Because I remember specifically, you did the show, you got top 10. Yeah, I was sixth. Right. Damn, girl. And you weren't. Who knew? That's (laughs) right. Who who knew? (laughs) She God. She was six, and then it was every member of Fifth Harmony below. I'm kidding. Low key, oh shit. (laughs) Shout out to money. It is it is weird the amount of people that came out of that show. But continue. You weren't allowed to release your original music for a year afterwards. Is that right? I don't even know. I think actually what happened was when. So what happens is. When you're when the show ends, the the show, or I guess it was technically Psycho at the time had an option to pick up your option. You sign a record deal before the show even starts. Oh damn! Miles Davis, bro. You sign on to whatever it is that they, whatever they want, because it's like, all right, what am I gonna do? Not do it. You know right. what I mean? I yeah. So you basically sign a record deal. And then they have an option, a period of time to pick up that option. Yeah. And and you're just then signed one day and like, that's it, you know. Um, 
they could have drawn mine out for a really long time, but I hit up their lawyer literally every day. Are they picking up my option? If not, I want out. Are they picking up my option? Yeah. If not, I want out. And finally, they got back to me because I just bombarded them. Like, tell them to shit or get off the pot. Right. And I think it actually only took six months before they released me from my contract. Which is probably not the same story for a lot of other people. I'm sure. No. <clears throat> well, no. because my persistent ass was... Guess yeah. the way you gotta be. You don't want this girl calling them. everybody's like, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't want them to pick up my option. So I was like, I'm just gonna fucking Yeah. It's like what do we have to do to get CC Fry to stop calling us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the deal. No, <laughs> she just keeps telling us to let her go. So I guess we gotta just let her go. Yeah. yeah. So it's like let's happened. negotiate. Okay. Get her out of her deal, and Cece will never call you ever again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that, but yeah. So then, but then after that, I think it it took me a long time to even know what kind of music I wanted to put out after that. Right. But I was working with Kramer, and <laughs> shout out Kramer, <laughs> O'Fallon, Missouri, <laughs> St. Peter's. Kramer, <laughs> he's living a beautiful life with a wife and a baby, and just you know. It's all relative, you know what I mean? God bless him. He's he, the, he changed my life, that guy. The first producer I ever worked with that was like, oh, yeah, like, there's no rules in music. We can just kind of do whatever Hell we want. Yeah. And if there you are, know? they're all hidden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think it's very important for people that are trying to get into the music industry or don't know a lot about it, and they need to understand that the business can be cutthroat and – People it are kind is. of, they're trying to, they're starting to smarten up about it as far as maybe I don't need a record deal right away. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of wait and see kind of attitude when it comes to the music industry or entertainment industry of like, I just want to be discovered and sign this crazy deal or crazy and then I'll be mm -hmm. famous. But that's not how it works. No. no, like for example, this just happened to us today, which is why I was like, maybe we <laughs> um, but we have been working on a sync deal for all year, yeah. me and my team, for no, my last just project. no names. No names. We, we've we been working out a sync deal with a particular company, and it's just like the deals that people are offering right now 100% of masters, 100% of publishing. And it's like, what's... Treating you like you're a work-for-hire <laughs> right. artist. Wow. And no. it's just like... It's craziness. I... Who, he, who that? Who here? That was my shit. My bad. Oh. <laughs> my bad. In the headphones, it's like. <laughs> it came from the kitchen yeah. for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, you just like these paperwork comes in and you're just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. For as much as you say you respect me as an artist and right. you like yeah. respect what I do and believe in me and all this different shit. This this contract doesn't reflect that. Yeah. And, and I think that anybody that wants to get into the this business like or even is in it and like are not sure what their next move is going to be like remember what you're worth for sure and just and be willing to walk away if yeah. something does not reflect your worth <clears throat> because it's it's and most of the time it won't yes <laughs> there, there, you, Straight up. you will have to make concessions and know when you have to when like, you yeah. have to balance that out Matt, i'm sure you have experienced this like you, there are times that you have to make concessions right. just to take the next step you know what i mean and so like not every deal is going to be great but like you have to <laughs> like you have to have at least some sort of like bottom line that's yeah. just not going to Standards for sure. You know what I mean. Yeah. Some sort Straight of up. standard. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, the business is cutthroat and it fucking sucks. So just don't do it. So Chase, stay home. So just don't do it. Chase, I'm like, is you black? Where are you from? Um, <laughs> East Tennessee. I'm like, when I keep I, catching these little <laughs> things that you're doing that I'm not even sure if anyone else is a fucking. I'm catching. not racist. I have a black friend. <laughs> you're not wrong. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, there's a little Hilarious. bit of that. Chase, yeah. is, Chase is a chameleon. Yeah. Whoa. Are you in, are you like up. do you like R and B hip hop vibes? Is that what the vibe oh my, is? Oh yeah. my god! I can feel it. I felt that shit when you walked in. Have you heard my music? Uh, no, that's I, what it I is. I have not. That is can we what play it something? Is. Yeah, sure. play saying things. Let me hear some his chance. group is called Backwoods. He's in a in a. It's in called a Backwoods. Yeah. Black and mold. Okay. Okay. So it's With, called Backwoods. Uh, Brandon Burnett, who Matt, you might. 
You guys might know him. Yo, um, Brandon Burnett. Okay, I'm trying to think if this Eminate. is. I have a story about Brandon Burnett in my head. Okay, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember if this actually happened or if I'm just imagining it. What is so, it? So, wait. We played a show in Tennessee with Brandon Burnett and a guy named Cyrus, something Cyrus, who later became a rapper. It was the only time we played in Nashville. Brandon Burnett, we remember? There was like fifty. Yes. There was like fifty that, people there. That weird Nashville, Tennessee show that we did, and we thought we were so cool because we were playing in Nashville, but it was like on the outskirts of town. There was like thirty people there, and Jay there was Cyrus. He's funny yep. as hell, by the way. Who became like a big viner? Yeah. Randomly, super Brandon funny. Brandon Burnett played that show. It was Brandon Burnett and and Cyrus, and but later I did a session with Brandon Burnett. He's a really talented uh, singer, writer. Yeah. So and is he in your group? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna play this. This is a little sum sum. Like I said, small world. Very small. This is Chase rapping. This is the type of shit that I feel like can be like in a movie. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, it's, it's a that, superhero Black Panther shit. Yeah, for real, right? Yeah. Guys, it's that slow mo, sure. like coming out of the party scene. And hero you know, guy. you know what I will say as a representative of the black community? Hey, um, man. It, there is a certain vibe that you can get from somebody who is naturally settled in the culture mm -hmm. and somebody who's trying too hard. And I feel like you don't really have to do that. Like you just, it just comes out and it just feels yeah. like a flow. Like the yeah. cadence maybe just feels natural yeah, versus yeah. somebody like, and I hate to say this because a lot of people don't agree with this Macklemore. For me as a black community, to me, I don't, I don't identify with that. Yeah. But I identify a little bit more with a little bit of MGK, you know what I'm saying? A little Eminem. Yeah. Like I identify more with that, with G-Eazy than I would with a Macklemore because sometimes it feels... It feels pressed. It's authentic, though. Yes. And, it, with G-Eazy, I thought that in the beginning, and I thought, I man, did, too. And I thought, I, did I was too. like, I must be tripping, but he's, this seems real for him. And then when I yeah. looked up, you know, he's from the Bay. And, he's from the Bay. And, exactly. you know, and his, his bringing up and everything, yeah. and I was like, oh, man, this is just him. That's yeah. who he is. Yeah. But it feels it feels authentic. And you. and you know what I'm saying? Thank you. And And I wouldn't I would not say that if I didn't honestly think so. I would no, just, I know. you know, yeah. try to switch subjects. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But no, if, and, and that's, that's cool, because I feel like that... That diversion of the black community and the white community is tight. Yeah. That's fucking tight. Yeah. So yeah. if you Thank got you. it, man, you got some shit that a lot of people don't have. Thank you. So, no, yeah. I'm gonna tell you right that now. first single is dope. Yeah. When you hear the, the song that goes with that cover art yeah. I just showed you, that yeah. shit is that one's nice. on, the That shit. one's fun. On Fuck some yeah. Other yeah. Well, you on the right path. Comes out <laughs> August 14th. Y'all holla. Holla. If you hear me. Squalla. Hells yeah. What you yeah, doing we, we appreciate you guys yeah. because we want to make this a place <laughs> where we can discover new music and put on Jake, new music. What you doing over there? He was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm multitasking. No, I know. I'm just, I can't I'm even just, multitask and I'm, I'm doing it. Let me check. I'm fucking ad-libbing him. I'm doing me. What what is, like, but he got camera buttons. switching and I'm talking and I'm like, yeah. what? What am yeah. I doing? Yeah. Producing, you, directing. But has, has <laughs> this Who is? Participating. Couple, has this power couple ever had another power couple ask them questions? Ooh. Yeah, what's y'all favorite movie? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, Three, I mean, no, two, you know what? I wish I was going to ask those questions. You can for sure. <laughs> I wish we could play that. We should play that game. That um, what do they always do for like those the couples game shows? Wherever they ask a question and then the partner has to write. You have to like write it down and then see if you guys have the same answer. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, we should. I mean, we'll have to do that. I mean, that sounds like a fun game. We though. can play that. You you do have time. some sort of a game though, right? What okay. game? Oh, you know. Game. You talking about spades? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you talking about spades? Wait, listen. I yo, make, I make, you talking about go fish? <laughs> I make mad play spades every time we go somewhere. I'm like, hey, yo, you ready? Like, you remember this shit? Don't fuck me up, man. Spades, now. let's go. He like, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready. I'm like, all right. Cribbage. What game were you talking about? Do I have a game? You got a challenge. Oh, oh you could say it's a game. Fucking God. Yo, I love I'm challenges so and games. I forgot about that, it's okay. That's what I'm here for. Babe. That's right. Yeah. You grab it, each other. Yeah. You want me to get it? Okay. Okay. Oh, no. What is Ooh, this? I'm excited. Do you have any dietary restrictions? No. Great. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. If not this is for, some not spicy for a taste. Shit. Oh, sorry, Cece. 
If, I mean, if it's like a habanero pepper, yes, I can't. I but. mean, I'm obviously not going to give you a fucking habanero pepper. <laughs> Girl, I don't know you like that. Okay. <laughs> No, okay. Oh, y'all as, about to know. Oh, this, oh, man, this thing got a skull on it. Okay, wait, just everyone just relax. <laughs> it's got a skull everyone on relax. It. Okay. okay. No, I love this Hold shit, on. though. Okay, so this is called the chocolate challenge, okay? Okay. And this is made by a cup. It's called the White Lightning. And so basically, it's it's a program that has basically, um, what's the word? Collaborated with Feeding America. Okay. And so basically, for every chocolate bar challenge purchase, 50 meals will be donated to local food banks to end world hunger. Let's go. That's beautiful, but I'm not sure about that. See, hold on. Yo, White Lightning was my nickname in college. <laughs> see, now you got to do this shit. Oh my God. So, what, okay. so what, you're not willing to ruin your life for Feeding Come America? Come on, see, see. Seriously. I, what, okay, what? and so, okay, basically it's chocolate, and so I'll just, we'll tell you Base. a little bit. I don't believe that for a second. Okay, white chocolate infused with, oh, oh, hop it. So we good. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it's, it's you know it's white chocolate infused with the world's hottest green peppers. Okay, so oh it's like the hottest okay. thing you ever put in your mouth. No, I don't know. Whatever, fine. no big deal. Whatever. It's gonna be fine. So not to be the grandparents on your show, but as this man's keeper, I have to. Tell I literally just came he, from the hospital. He oh. literally cannot for my eat stomach something like this. No, but is it all hot? I ain't never had this shit. No, I'll, 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 I'll try it. it. They don't have like CC fish, like raw fish flavored and CC weird CC and Matt. Oh. CC, you got, to, you got to take one for the team, CC. Well, Man, look at me not drinking, not doing the... Ch- I'm usually the guy. Don't you worry about it. I'm but usually the guy the that's like... pepper ever. Sorry, CC. I love you, but you're going to do it, CC. Let, let, me, let me just first try First of all, can I just say my favorite cousin in the world is named CC? So I'm like, she, she. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, you must be insane to consume this motherfucking pain. <laughs> oh my god y'all chose this for us <laughs> yeah we did but i didn't She's know like, about your stomach the, condition chase you could make you could make like an anchovy on. smoothie and i'd be like i'll okay. do it i'll do it maddie and she's i'm gonna give you a small piece don't worry i'm not gonna give you a whole piece it'll be fine okay ready just give me a little bit and then. Shut your, uh, i'm just saying they look worried over there. i'm, I'm <laughs> just everybody relax i got milk person. at the crib Guys, you don't and you know geez, that. Please give them some backstory here before Hold on. this has before Yo, I, have I to do this. Okay. Don't no, be a pussy. Listen, right? listen, this is up oh, to you. She's telling me not to be But a straight up. Now. All right, here. I'll literally like make dinner it's small, CC. with pepper, regular go ass ahead. pepper in it. Eat the whole thing. Just do it. Come on. Y'all think. Come on, y'all tripping. Let's go ahead and go. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm not going to lie. I licked it. I didn't even eat it. I just licked it a little bit. I already feel it. Cece, just take a little bite. Just don't even eat the whole. Oh my god! <laughs> she, 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 she's not gonna do it. No, you're out of your mind. Cece, you just take a little. The crunch. one thing she won't do is no. is heat. Cece, little I crunch. No, girl. Here's the other thing about me. Don't I y'all got some like weird shit in the fridge? Pressure. We can challenge each other. Some <laughs> 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 vegan mayo, like <laughs> ketchup. I will, I will, I will literally. <laughs> no. Okay, Tennessee. Uh-uh. No, I would literally drink sour milk before I ate something I'll, spicy. Yo, we just made, I just we just that made this show the weakest the a- weakest podcast of all time. <sighs> They're like, okay. we are never they're like them they're on. like our least viewed episode with Chase. No, but Matt, are you no, serious? because there's a lot of people. Like, are, is your tongue still Baby, on fire? Did you do, Baby, no, no, I'm okay. It. I'm okay, but I just want to show the camera how small this is. It's so fucking small. <laughs> I'm gonna eat half of it right now, and then I'll probably eat the rest because I don't give a fuck. Right. Eat the whole shit. Is no, he's not gonna talk the rest of the. The rest no, of the it's time. Burn. Bye. <laughs> you call me all red face. See ya. Sweating. All right, so give us, give us date. You know, updates. Oh, you want me to give you a play by play? Play by play. I'll right. give you a play by play. Come on. Yeah, it's spicy feel? as hell. Yeah, your face is getting really <laughs> red. Yo, I'm gonna be sweating real yeah. soon. Yeah. No, you yeah. are. You are. I can see it. I'm okay to do this because head. I love spicy food, but this is a ghost. Could pepper, I do this, guys. baby, or no? Oh, this is a ghost pepper, right? I would not be able to do this. No. Are you kidding? And you just tried to fucking. No, I don't like spicy. Your, did you taste it? Yeah, heat? my tongue is numb. Here, I'll lick it before I stick it. Yeah, lick it. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> was that was that your catchphrase in college? <laughs> White lightning. <laughs> lick it before you stick it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just always cue things, please. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have a long distance call from CC Fry. <laughs> CC, it seems that. Your mouth is on fire because you forgot to lick it before you stick it. Oh my God. None of that made sense, but it's fun doing the voice. Is it hot? Today on Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Are aliens real? <laughs> Yo, so yes. I, I'm going to eat the rest of this. I think I can handle the... You seem actually better than you were two seconds ago, so that's pretty good. Yo, Are you playing yeah, it off? I'm sweating. No, 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 it's fine. He, you know, my sinuses voice. are cleared. I got a little bit more energy. Oh, shit. 
All right, I'm gonna eat the. I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Do it. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh kind of melted Jesus, on my finger. Stop. I was just making. I can't not try it. This man, you have a hiatal hernia. <laughs> and, and 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 you have uh, three unchecked messages. <laughs> three unchecked messages. That's a nice boyfriend. Because <laughs> he could have got a lot worse than that. Yeah. I'm trying to take care of you. Give me some more buttons. <sighs> Your booty Winter hole. Fresh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when you're pooping later. Yeah. Ah, oh, that burns. <laughs> this How seems like it? oh, How it's spicy. It? It's really burning. This seems like another. <laughs> I, I took a little like, nibble. I, I took a nibble of the corner. And, like, Girl, do it. and it's not as I took a nibble of the corner. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's if bad. I didn't have yeah. if I didn't have internal. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Are you just talking? He gonna have dragon poop later. It feels like. You if, know that was that one. You don't know. That was so I don't know. Ah. It feels like it'll be worse on the way out. Fuck. No, for real, it will. We should do this again when I'm drinking, and we should all just get, like, get go through like three or four tequilas first, if and this then man start. Didn't have a hole in his stomach from acid. He would have done. Let's give a little more information about my medical <laughs> history. <laughs> on this episode, we <laughs> almost kill our guests. I just yeah. didn't want- <laughs> I just didn't want people to think you were a pussy and wouldn't need it. Which is so I felt like I should just give them some. Context. Welcome back to Mmm That Burns. Mmm That Burns. We stupid man. I'm over here. Sw- I feel like oh I'm sweating God, baby, from okay. your from your experience. You good, but I also oh. did take a little tiny. Oh yeah. Chug. That chug. <laughs> I just feel what like you? you drink a little bit of alcohol. You take this ghost pepper chocolate stuff, and now I'm just tripping in another dimension. Did you bite that? <gasps> oh, you ate the whole thing? You ate the whole thing? I told you not to do it. Also I infused with you. cannabis and mushrooms. It's fine. The whole thing? She gonna be sick. No, I didn't eat the whole thing. I didn't eat the whole thing. They're oh, like, so guys, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks oh, okay. for coming. This no. interview is over. Oh, she did a little, she, he got a little corner. Thanks for coming. It's been very real. Yeah. This, um, yeah, this is, this is uncomfortably hot. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Yo, I man, I was waiting for some X Factor shit. Some just, like, some like, this is monkey's brain and a cow's anus. Let's bring out the cockroaches. <laughs> right? You mean Fear Factor? Oh yeah, Fear Factor. That's not what X-Factor. I love is when people come up to me. They're like, "Hey, aren't you that chick from Fear Factor?" And I'm like, "No." Or they're like, "People say that." Yes, because you're wearing a Fear Factor shirt. You not? You is wearing a motherfucking Fear Factor. Shirt. <laughs> Next up, Pan Joe Rogan. Easy. No, they do. Cece, if you just cut the sleeves off of that shirt, yo, I'm Cece from Decatur, Illinois, and I'm here to win and I, Fear and I, Factor. Wait, wait, and I'll I, eat, I, I don't I, care what it is. I'll eat anything, anywhere. And I rode a plane. Yeah. I rode a plane. This is for my city. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fuck with Ray Ray <laughs> broke ass no more. Yeah. I, was on, I, I rode on a plane for the first time, and now we're here. That actually happened to me. Hey, y'all. I'm Cece Fry. <laughs> I've been I, out here for years. I <laughs> ate 10 sheep's livers for Decatur, Illinois, and I'm the hero of the town. All right, can we put the attention back on Chase? No. The attention needs to be on these two over here getting, all, are the equi- getting all the equipment wet. I'm burning like a motherfucker, <laughs> too. Man, I can actually see the sweat <laughs> gathering on your forehead. And, and just for all of our younger new. viewers, you can say no to peer pressure. I did, and I'm glad. That's yeah. the first and the last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the kind of people we want on our show. Yeah. No, now, okay, just to give it play by play, it's creeping. It's creeping up to the lip area. The lip, when it, it, starts, hits the it hits the outside Ooh. of the lips, and it starts burning, and that's, you're like, that's the ghost part. I need some chapstick. Mm-hmm. Stat. You're like, that shit will hit your lips over. like, boo. Get it, oh my, not okay. I licked it, and the end of my tongue is still numb. In my mind, I'm in Antarctica, but my <laughs> lips are in the are seventh hell. layer of hell, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> aka San Antonio, <laughs> <laughs> Bakersfield, California. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Have you ever been oh, to Bakersfield? <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew, I, it. I knew, I knew that half. someone would do this and want to be done. I knew it. <laughs> no, I like, you can't you fuck with ghost with peppers, rest? man. But it's okay. So I'm but, gonna be honest with you. Guys. So y'all just said, y'all just fed like one meal. So it's, what happened? Fifty, fifty meals. No, fifty meals. Listen, no, you gotta like, eat hey the guys, whole thing. No, we. 
We're just trying to give back, okay? No, listen, I no. would buy this and not eat it. <laughs> no, it says you for every uh, chocolate, chocolate challenge bar purchase. <laughs> yeah, you just have to buy it. Yo, you, you need some milk. Stash. She needs some milk. That's um, a myth. Whole milk. Drink your truly. Meals will be donated to local food banks to end war. For every butthole burnt, you just fed 10 families. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Way to sacrifice your sphincter. Guys, there is nothing that makes me laugh like a butthole joke. For real. You can all, I wish I had some good butthole jokes. I don't have any. Go ahead, babe. You got some on deck. I ain't got shit. Except the only one I have is that y'all are going to have dragon butt later. That's what I call it after we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Ooh. like, I'm going to have dragon booty. Dude, I used to like Buffalo Wild Wings when I was dragon younger. And now it's like booty. fucking triggity trash. Triggity trash. Don't you think so? Yeah. Oh, there's a wing place that we order from called, Hot Wings? called Bird Box. Yeah, it's but really they good. but Bird Box, <laughs> I've been real disappointed. Where do you guys live? What lately. city? Right down the street, y'all. We live 12 minutes from you. Where? Burbank? Technically Van Nuys. Okay. Yeah, we're on like Woodman Valley and Burbank. Valley Glen, don't say Van Nuys. Valley Glen. Glen. That's a terrible thing to say. That's all right. No. Yeah. No, Valley Glen. Yeah. Is but it? that's what, that's you sent me this address and I was like, what the hell? I know. We were neighbors Fuck. and we don't see I was like, where they live, other? Marina Del Rey. Where are we going? <laughs> where they live, Calabasas. In my <laughs> mind, in my mind, which made it better that we hadn't seen each other, you guys lived like out of town. <laughs> Yeah, gone down, gone down there to Reno again. Got that one in podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we live in Marina Del Rey. <laughs> Marina Literally. Del Rey. That's what I, that's what I thought in my brain. Have but you guys ever been to the front yard? Del Rey. That's my uncle's so name. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Wait, what was the question? Have you been to the front yard? Yeah, you I have been to the front yard. I love that place for brunch, yo. Go. Yeah, we go all the time. Yeah. I love that place. Well, we should we should all go together one day. Is it even is it open? It's open. I have reservations tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. She hitting the front yard tomorrow. Honestly, I've been going out to eat a lot. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I, I give a fuck, but like, I also am just like want to see my friends, man. I know I it's see hard. My friends. I know. I'm a person who thrives off social social interaction, and like, I want to see me, my me friends. Me too. I'm the same in that. It gives me that anxiety manner. when I'm like in the in my house, and I'm like, now what? Same thing. They do. They they. They, they have found some solutions for outdoor seating. It's called Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? At Glendale, in Glendale, um, the Americana, they have put fucking tents in the parking lot. It ain't that serious for me. Tents? So oh, you wow. can eat in the parking lot? Oh. It's going to be a no for me. I'm not really a parking lot eater. It's not really the ambiance. I'm not a ins- <laughs> like, I'm also a person that, like, you can't pay me to eat inside of a fast food restaurant. Like, I'll go get Taco Bell and take it home. Matt just looked at you. I'm going to lie to you. Okay. I can't go go inside a Favorite fast food restaurant. Yeah. What is it? Tell me yours. Taco Bell. Second for me. First. Okay. White Cleasy. What? White Castle. Yeah, but is there White Castle? No, but I'm from the Midwest. Okay. Well, I would. White Castle would be probably one of mine, too, but it's not here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do y'all ever have Whataburger? (laughs) Whataburger? Uh, Whataburger? Yes, I. Yeah, I never dug it. We had it in Florida. Second shake I used to mess with. Back in St. Louis, Matt, back in St. Louis. Y'all got over there. We, Nelly. I remember whenever I was hanging out with Kyle and Ryan back in the day, we would all go out to like Soulard or something and get two drunk. Pairs. And then mm-hmm. we would get Jack in the Box in the middle Damn. of the night. Jack in the Crack? It's going to be a hell no for me. No, they right. would get that. That and Frisco then Burger I would, I would when you're drunk is cool. Street. But that's about as far as I'll go. No, they would get that. And then I would make us go across the street to the McDonald's and I would get a 20 piece McNugget. See, that well, fish fillet I, hits me every time. I have had a hangover day where we went, like McNuggets. me and my roommates went to Taco Bell and then got McDonald's fries and then like got a Pizza Hut pizza or like a <laughs> And then just like swapped Yo, out. Nasty. Yo, tell and me. And then I didn't eat for 10 days after that. You didn't yeah. shit for 10 days is what you meant to say. I didn't do a lot of things for 10 days. Um, Tell me you've had canes. Oh, yes. Best chicken ever. And Jeez. that sauce brother, is brother, so brother, brother, canes? brother. No. I've never even heard of that. Wow. Yes. No. No. I feel like you have. I feel like I made wow. you get it once. I feel like, Come wait, on, where? brother. Is it here? There's one. There's one in Norwalk. Right off the... I don't even know where Norwalk is. Canes. That sounds like a Star Wars city. Welcome to Norwalk. It's some shit you <laughs> have to... Okay, let me, pull up a little, let me pull up a little pic so you can see what you're missing out on. Sorry. It's all about the sauce. Yeah, now you never had the Norwalk this? Bridge. Oh, my God. And that bread. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That looks good. <sighs> so good. That looks really good. I have had the spicy chicken sandwich from... Um, Dave's? I have Howling had Rays. Dave's too. Dave's was dope. I Dave's, had Dave's. That shit hot as hell though. Yeah, but I had a uh, Howlin' Rays, Dave's. There's another chicken place. Um, Cluckin' Chicken. Cluckin' Chicken. I've had that. I think. Yep. Um, 
I've had them all. Fucking. I actually was. I, I was at a uh, stomach a hurt. hot chicken oh, festival in baby. LA. Oh you messed up, aren't you? <laughs> oh God, you guys. She's like, stop so talking mad. about spicy anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you had a, a hot, hot and spicy food festival. <laughs> yes. She's like, she's like, I can't even think. Just, just ghost keep pepper talking. chocolate <laughs> everywhere. God damn. We need to get this Poop woman break. a drink. For real, you oh, need to. No, I'm good. I'm chilling. I, See, now I'm like in the mood to drink alcohol. Now yeah, I'm like, I feel that. I'm like, let's We're just struggling go. over here. You're like, I want to be on that level. No. I want to be struggling. You want to struggle. Where's the struggle bus? I was telling her some stories, some like old Valhalla stories from back in the day. And it's it's oh, hard. Oh, oh, oh no. No. Sorry. Clean that up. Podcast over. Oh, here, use oh. the mask. Paper towel. Huh? Paper towel. Oh, well, man. Sorry. Uh, shit, shit, shit. No, it's fine. It's fine. Like I live here, I'm like, listen, I don't know what's like that. Oh, get the... I'm so sorry, so Maddie. I know this is your baby, too. Sorry. It's fine. I got it off literally before it, it even had a thing. It's good. We good. We good. Do, 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 do. Kendrick. All right, we good. I'm so sorry, babe. But it's not even alcohol. It's fucked you up. It's like chocolate. See, honestly, no, that chocolate fucked me up. Though, that was yeah. a great idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Uh, it would have been fine if it was two YouTube motherfuckers, but you turned it on me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I did. <clears throat> it is. It is my fault. Can we cut that position? Can, can we cut that from the podcast? Nope. I just want to <laughs> say my life just flashed before my eyes. It did it? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Babe. Damn. I'm so sorry. Which is hard because you were sweat. already sweating in, in, in so much. No, pain. I'm good. I'm like ready for another round. I see that chocolate just wandering away. Oh, She's just slowly pushing piece. it. It's like on. walking toward you. <laughs> now we're good. I, th- I threw the, my mask at her. I was like, wipe it up with this. Sally. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we good. Keyboard functioning on 10. Okay. I Got like him. 10. I, I was telling her some, some crazy like struggle stories of us back in the day. So many. Because I think, I always think it's important. If you have any sort of success, any level of success, to tell the stories of the struggle. Hell yeah. Because 100%. so many people, they it's the Instagram, social media, reality of the world, where you're only seeing the perfection of yeah, people. You're right. not seeing the struggle. Yeah. And most people don't want to show mm-hmm. their ugly side. They want to face tune everything. They yeah. want to put the filter yeah. on. So people know you wow. from X Factor and they see, oh, she's got leopard print on her face. She's... Fierce, she's confident on stage, but they don't know that I met you and you were doing covers in a bar in Decatur, Illinois for 10 people two nights a week Yep, mm-hmm. going, going ham. They don't know that. And singing country songs like, <laughs> and then, and then every once in a while you throw in the pop records and people were kind of into them, but not, not fully but because not it was much. Yeah. right. And you were just like, but, I, but who cares? Screw and it. And then I'm I met this guy that was like. <clears throat> I want to do like a rap, hip hop, pop, electro pop project. And I was like, yeah. Like that was like, <laughs> I thought that was awesome. I was like, finally, You're like I, I get to you do. Is, you is cute, Cece. You're really no. cute. Look at them brows, girl. <laughs> oh my the God. The motherfucking brows. Because so, so many people look are just, brows. look at these thick ass brows. We all have really good. I got really some thick good, ass brows too. Guys, we all have Mine are starting to like go different direction. I you got know, a twenty. Is, is I thought when I was looking at your eyebrows, I thought you had eyebrow gelling, but you probably don't. No, he no. don't. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> yeah, for the record, I stopped he wearing does that not. shit like two years ago. Okay. <laughs> Set the record straight. I just get a little. Yeah, you guys both have great. Damn brows. boy. But yeah, we we did. There was plenty of struggle, and those. But but the struggle stories are my favorite stories to tell. Tell us a struggle story, you guys. What's one of the best? Oh, the best one. The most. Struggle bus story that Valhalla had was we were driving. So, okay, whenever we would go do our gigs, we had to drive Matt's mom's minivan. Yes. And was it white? Yep. Little <laughs> white minivan. <laughs> what, what kind of minivan was it again? Plymouth. It was something like that. It was a like, Ford. You've been hitting the head with a worldwide okay. exclusive. <laughs> yeah. So, Trapaholics. <laughs> we, we got the opportunity to open up for Big Boy at this music festival. Oh, that's tight. Oh, damn. And we thought this was going to be it. We damn, like, big boy, we about to be famous. We like, this, this, you know, like when the, you're- The you're Iowa like, State Fair, here we go. Yeah, like, I, no, that's one of the biggest for, state for, fairs for, in the world, though. Let me just say that. But when you're naive and like, you think that's like your big break. So we 
loaded up the minivan and we had to pull a U-Haul behind this minivan because it had to put Kyle's drones in it. Right? Oh, but it yeah. was Tony that went with us on that trip. We, had we a, didn't even have Kyle that we time. We were 19 years old and we had a 31-year-old Italian drummer. 31? Sick. Yeah. What the fuck was he doing? Oh, we, we he paid, I think we paid him like 200 bucks yep. for the show and I think we probably made 300 bucks. So we lost money. I don't think we made any money on that show. Right, but I'm saying all of our money went towards our band. Right. That's yeah. how like we like Justin been there. Come with us on that one. Right. So we had a drummer, a bass player, yeah. And then was us. So then we are on our way, but here's the deal. That minivan was not made to pull a U-Haul trailer. And we are we drive all the way to Des Moines, Iowa. We get there, the show's been rained out. And we're like, we've just driven six hours to get here. This is our biggest opportunity we've ever had. And, and yeah, we're we, opening for big boy. Yo. And, yeah. and we had to we had to stop like three times on the way there because the van kept overheating and we Damn. kept having to pour water. Yeah. The transmission would stall. We'd have to pour cold water on it yeah. to cool it down. Right. Wow. And so we are pissed. We don't get to play. The fucking show is rained out. And we're like, we guess we just fucking turn around and drive home. And it's not just rained out. It's a big storm. It's cold. Fast, high-powered winds. Yeah, it's cold, rainy. Did you guys have like a hotel? Then no, 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 no. No, no, it was oh, just, we, we only had the budget to play the show, drive six hours, play the show, drive six hours back. Right. So we decided, well, I guess we better just <clears> drive <throat> home because we can't get a hotel for the night. We make it about 20 minutes outside of Des Moines, Iowa, where we're good and in the middle of nowhere at that point on the freeway. You just hear, boom. <laughs> the transmission dropped. And we're like, the fuck? That transmission dropped yeah. out of the bottom. Straight I know that and, sound too well. Yeah, same. And we were, we're, we were stuck on the side of the road for probably another, what, like six hours waiting for... you. That's awful. Damn. Your grandparents lived in... Uh, yeah, so my my grandpa, I love him. Shout out Ira no. McMacken. I love Sick him. Name. I love Irish. him so much. <laughs> he drove compliment. six hours to come pick us up because he had a trailer because he used to own a, a car dealership. Homie. And just <laughs> towed us. Literally towed us. And I remember it sucked for us because we were spending all of the money we were making from the show just to break even. Yeah. But then when you rent a U-Haul and you take it to a different city, and they, have to drop it off there. they charge you like three or four times the amount of money. So we ended up, it was like, cool, we're going to pay 90 bucks for a U-Haul. And it was like 400 bucks. And then it was $2,000 for the transmission. Terrible. Oh Damn. But, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. This is just a specific memory of mine. I remember the transmission drops. It's cold. It's really, win it's so windy that the minivan's kind of shaking back and forth. And then you have these giant semi trucks that'll drive by you oh and shake God. the minivan. You know, we're, yeah. on the, we're on the side. And I remember looking back, Cece's in the back seat, and she's <laughs> kind of, she's that. looking at both. <laughs> I the hiccups from that dead fucking ghost that we got. I'm coughing. I was I'm trying to like keep it together. <sighs> I, I just remember looking back, you kind of look both of your pockets side to side, look at the car. I don't have my medication, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what was medication? <laughs> CC did. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. So I have a serious thyroid condition. Oh, fuck. And so I have to take medication every day. And, of course, that was the thought that went through my young mind was, oh, God. I it's but like I we knew we were driving six hours to play a show and, and coming back. <laughs> right. So I, <laughs> I love that that's your memory. My memory is that it was fucking cold. The yeah. car wouldn't turn on, so we could not have any heat. Oh, we're fucking man. freezing, and I gotta pee. Yeah. So bad, and I remember getting out like I was in physical pain. I tried to hold it for so long till the tow truck <laughs> got there, and I immediately, I guess I. I did. I got out on the side of the road. <laughs> and it's fucking windy and rainy and cold. Been and I'm there. like trying to pee. <laughs> this is just flying five, uh, five feet sideways. That was, that, was one of the, <clears throat> that was one of the worst. And, and luckily we had a real man that was our drummer and Tony. That's true. Because we were. The car. Your we, uncle was there. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we were 31 like a motherfucker. Yeah. We, we weren't even. Old ass bitch. 
we couldn't rent a car. We had no idea what we we're doing, and the transmission drops. And I'm pretty sure Fuck. me and Cece are just like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> like we're like two nineteen. Nine year olds, like, <laughs> we're like, what do we do now? We got blankets, right? No, we didn't have shit. But Tony got, was old enough to rent a car, and I rode home with him because you had to wait for your grandpa. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring that story up because I think moral of the story is no matter how you see somebody or they're perceived, it's they went through something. They had to grind. They had to go through some sort of challenge to get where they're at or just to have that success. And a lot of times it's like 10 at-bats to hit that home run or like 10 complete air balls, complete yeah. failures, how many shows we played that we lost money. Right. Well, what I love is when people think that, oh, so-and-so just like blew up overnight. Like I could, I could have a record that goes platinum next year and people would be like, Man, she just came out of nowhere. She just came out yeah. of nowhere. And it's like, no, no, no. We were playing to bars of five people in Arkansas and shit for like 10 years ago. Ten We've year been doing this success, yeah. for so long. I, that's my favorite. It was people like, oh, she just blew up overnight. Like, mm. nah. She's yeah. Been, she's been doing this. Yeah. They've been yeah. doing this forever. But I also, I think it's, it's kind of like tight and important for you guys to talk about that, though, because it's yeah. like, if you guys have never told me that, I would never know. Do you know what I'm saying? So I yeah. think also as an artist, like to be where you are and to be where you are, mm. it's part of your responsibility to tell young kids who, are, you know, are fantasizing and like, you know, fet- not fantasizing, but like, you know, creating this dream and like, they don't know that, you know, you had to go through all that shit. Yeah. And I feel like people are so like weird. They don't want to say like, yo, I had to fucking grind, but like. You should probably talk about that because I feel like that's important as fuck. And yeah, I think absolutely. people, it I, is, I think that people that don't know you very well yeah. need to hear that Matt <sighs> Elkins <about> is like, <laughs> tell him <laughs> he is the guy that w- that when I didn't believe, this guy fucking believed. Yeah, and Yo. he was like, he was like, no, we're gonna fucking do this shit. And yeah, like, I am gonna do this, and like Matt has always, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> So let, let me tell Matt you, because always believed and always like knew that this would happen. And to be out here 10 years later and have you be in, in like in cheat codes and shit. And you don't understand, like it fucking, it keeps me going whenever I think that like, it's time to. That's some real shit. That's a really shit it. you ever wrote. <laughs> you right? like, but shit you, but ever you wrote. have never, <clears throat> you have since I met you, you were always like, oh, yeah, no, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, and, we're going to go do this. And let me tell you, because we're on the same wavelength right now. Those life lessons gave me the mindset of every time you show up, show up all the way mm-hmm. and do the show. Because I have so many memories of, for example, we played a show in Oklahoma City. Mm-hmm. This is when Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden were all on the Oklahoma City Thunder. They went to the finals or the semifinals. We're playing at a bar in Oklahoma City. They don't care about us. They don't want to see us perform. There's maybe 30, 40, 50 people in this bar. The game ends, and then we're supposed to play. Of course, what happens? The game's over. It's playoffs. It's Oklahoma City. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened Mm -hmm. to them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everybody leaves. There's 10 people there. CC turns to me. It's funny because we had we had a set. We had a set thing that we do. It's like, cool, we do this song, we do this song. On this song, we're going to shoot confetti. On this song, we're going to hit these painted trash cans that, that CC designed or whatever. Yeah, and glitter on top. CC goes to me and she's like, I don't want to do all of our show stuff. I just want to do the show and get out of it. And I'm like, yeah. no, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do the show how we're supposed to do it because at the end of the day, It's not about these other people. It's just about doing what you're supposed to be doing. And when you when you do it to those crowds, then when you do it to a thousand people, two thousand people, it's easy. Absolutely. And I I learned so much from those experiences that now even even last year or the year before, whenever I was playing locally, like I would play Sayers Club, the Viper Room, like wherever it was. Yes, Viper Room. Those are not like huge venues so they're not always filled with a lot of people yeah but like i would go so fucking hard every time like to the to the (laughs) point where like i would wake up the next day and my fucking neck would be pulled or something you want that shit from like throwing my yeah but we the only reason that we learned that is because of those experiences and being like no you know what we're gonna play like there's a hundred thousand people in this room right now yeah, anyone listening right now, if you ever do music, if you ever perform, 
It's so much easier playing to a packed house than it is an empty crowd. It may not seem yeah. like it, but 100%. Volume, yeah. So but if you, know, you can play to an empty room, you're going to slay a set. I feel like because, because for me, like not being someone who's played in crowds, I feel like it's deeper than that. It, it has to be something with your mental it has to be because it's like, and I'll give you guys an example, and this is like a little personal, but whatever. Oh, yeah. So, Get it. Oh, so I'm signed with Wilhelmina. I'm a plus size model, curved model, and I hate my legs, okay? <gasps> but and to have somebody- Blasphemy, I say. No, but you know what, though? It, there's these things that you've been conditioned to believe about yourself over time, Yeah. and and it's fucked me up, and it's like, I never thought I was a plus size model, but I, I'm okay with my body now, and I'm cool with it. I'm like, yo, like, whatever. Whatever works Girl, for you. you're- Fucking, but you know what? Everything, though? but everything, hundred percent. But you, but it ha- it took me time to realize that. And sometimes when I'm with Matt, I'm like, oh my god, I fucking hate my legs so much. He's like, stop now, like, <laughs> don't fucking do it, don't fucking do. It. And I think that having the right people around you and having that mentality and not to like judge yourself so much is like that's everything. He does that for me constantly, that's fucking everything on a daily basis. You get in your head. Like I see so many girls on like Instagram, like Instagram moms, like ass out, titties out. I'm like, that ain't my vibe. I'm never, I've never been like that. I'm like, you can catch me in like a cool little like vintage tee. I'm not gonna be on fucking Instagram with my ass out in a thong. That's right. just not my vibe. Yeah, right. and I feel like people have not normalized that. And so yeah. having Matt around and like, I'm sure you can agree to this. It's like having that person who's like spitting some real shit to you. Like, nah, like you want this or you want to play. Like get focused yeah and so like what you're saying that he's did, did for you like he's doing for me and it's just like it's crazy to hear someone else say that shit we like do that but we do that for each other yeah like, she I, does that for me too I, healthy i have like become the person that's like if he's like no i just think that today maybe we should just relax i'm always like no fuck that we can relax when we're 80 like we got shit to do you know Balance. or or whenever i decided to cut all my hair off i was like what if i don't you know, I, I, it's I, hair though. It's going to work, I, right? I want to cut all my hair off. Like I really, uh, I'm tired of these like over sexualized stereotypes that women Girl. are put in. And I want to just like flip it on its head and just see what happens. And so when I cut all my hair off, it gave me like, it weirdly like awakened this different energy within me where I was just like, I don't even remember what you look like with hair, I girl. Like, but I, I <laughs> like my style was different and it just awakened all of these. It was like an, artistic awakening for me yeah. to do that because it made me extremely uncomfortable and it took me a long time to even be like oh my god like i don't i don't know if i even look pretty anymore and she yeah. was like fuck pretty fuck pretty yo you know what's funny he's fuck, fuck fucking that. fuck pretty you look because pretty don't mean a goddamn thing he was like you look like a fucking artist now that's right so fuck pretty and yeah. like because of this man i have like so i'm brave enough to be like yeah I don't, you're right, like. But you was right. always brave. You just found somebody that complimented you in the right way. That's yeah, all that that's was. Right. You know and what true. I'm saying? And Very true. Vice you was always versa. brave, hood and cheek. Yeah. y'all. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's interesting. H- hair is so sacred to women. It it's is. so interesting. Don't fuck. If I wanted to ruin your day, I would just wake up, go to you and be like, what's up with your hair? <gasps> you, <laughs> hey, you come Done. My- She'd be like, go in there and eat a chocolate. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> my hair look good. What the fuck are you guys? <laughs> <Yeah. So, laughs> yeah, no don't shit. try me. She's no. like, boo, you ain't even got it. So. <laughs> you ain't even got it. <laughs> no, no, no. Except on yeah. your face. That is a marvelous beard the both of you have, though, now. I Matt, thought you were talking to the two of them. Matt never had a beard. <laughs> Shut up. That quarantine beard. You ain't shit, Matt. Chase. Yeah. You should have seen it before look, I though. came here. I had to shape this bitch. I was like, you damn, I'm gonna like look all, I'm gonna look all sort of like deformed Yo, face. No, you damn, shaped it good. I wish you were on next week because we, I've been buying from a lot of black brands. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, I'm not racist, my friends black, and it's important to me to support <laughs> black people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So yeah, I um, next time we see you, I'm gonna give you some fucking beard balm from a black company. Yeah, I got you. Hit me yeah. with it. I got you. I got you. I, I got worked you. at a barber shop. Yeah, in for hood. A while. In hood. <laughs> yeah, third, third in Fairfax. <laughs> <laughs> the hood. Yikes. Wait, wait, was it? Uh, what's fr- what's no, the? That's like death? that's like the Grove. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say <laughs> third and Fairfax. Fair. I'm sorry. No, no, it was called Proper Barbershop. <laughs> okay, we're on um, Third and Fairfax. Okay. Yeah, or third, not Third and Fairfax. Um, I'm it was uh, think. no, it was it was right there, Third and. So Fairfax, Fairfax, Fairfax High yeah. School. Don't look at me like I know. <laughs> she like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. You down with the brown. Anyway, we know, we know, we know. You know, down with the brown. So you chase. He he really is. Ever since I've known you, but like he, 
that's the kind of <laughs> music that comes. The but you know what's funny best is, and and I don't, I'm gonna tell you this, but you can't buy it. You you can't fucking fake it. And you you really can't like try to convince a black person of it, but when it, when you just feel it, like when I fuck with you, see, you just feel it. There's nothing yeah. that you can buy. There's nothing that you can fake. It's just a vibe, and I don't know how you obtain it. I can't tell people like to try and like get to there. Yeah, it just is. Yeah, I think it's just being comfortable in your authenticity and just like just realizing like this is what I like, and getting to a place where when you like something so much, you, yeah, you, you can't keep it in. Yeah, and that's it. <clears throat> he loves the music that you make. Yeah, that I, I, I grew up in the country and I would like my, my, my dad worked in the Christian music industry and I wasn't allowed to watch MTV and listen right, to certain for music. Sure. And I would go on camping trips and we'd take a boombox and we'd be listening to, you know, Tupac and, oh, yeah. and, and hip hop. And it just it fascinated me so much. The whole hip hop culture and just culture in general, because I grew up with not very much culture. Culture in <clears> general. <throat> we both. But you did come from the South, though. So I feel like that's more no, culture did, than yeah. somebody from, like, coming from, like, a place like, fuck, what, North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, or just you know I mean? different. I yeah. mean, it is, a, it is a culture, but it's not. It, it's it's a very closed-minded culture. <sighs> Listen, you know what yeah. the, You know what I want to say? I feel like, God, I feel like there's been so much amount of like, pressure that we're putting on white people because we're, like, trying to make them be a certain vibe. And it's like. Nah, y'all good. Yeah. Y'all good. You ain't gotta like. You don't have to prove to the motherfuckers who know like your energy. Like it's all yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. We know. We can see yeah. you. <clears throat> I would never think you guys would say anything weird or racist because I just fucking know. Like, right. yeah. Do you know what I'm Straight saying? Up. Yeah. But I feel like I couldn't explain that to somebody who's like fucking like you know an Instagram influencer who's like in Malibu. Like you know you know what I mean? There's right. a difference. Hundred yeah. percent. There's a difference. I totally get it. I don't know how to explain totally it, but that. just like it's not that I'm giving away black <clears throat> cards, but it just feels giving away black. But cards it feels genuine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I don't yeah. have to explain shit to you. Like we're having a podcast, and then Chase goes straight up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. to me, like that lets me know that you're down with the fucking culture. I love it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. I don't know how to explain it, no. y'all. But you know what I'm saying? I, I totally. Get you know what I mean? I totally it's just it's just a vibe mm-hmm. that you just feel people, and it's just like I do I, think art is different, though. Okay. I think that art. Yeah. Is is a culture all its own. Yeah. And and if you are in this world like you guys yeah. are, like we are, and you live, eat, sleep, yeah. breathe art. You don't even what, see in, race. In whatever capacity yeah. it is. No, it's not <clears throat> that you don't see race. It's that you fucking do and it all fascinates you. And it all That's tight. Yeah. and it all yeah. makes you just like hungry to learn. And I think we are we're actually developing a TV show right now. <laughs> where so we would. Oh, how to I'm pitching oh. a Quibi. Yes, oh, girl. Girl. Show. We, need to, we got so much to I talk mean, about. It sucks because we're because we like want to talk about so much. And we're like, oh my god, tell me you ready. I'm about to rip these headphones off and tell you everything. Literally. But a lot of it, but a lot of it is is but a lot of, of what we're developing is just being two down to earth country kids that are so hungry to know more about what yeah. is out there. <clears throat> in the yeah. world yeah. and what different people what they feel like what they go through on a daily basis what, what they believe what, what they do eat, they like believe <laughs> like what yeah. you know we're hungry for that and i yeah. think 100%. that a lot of people if if you are an artist and art really does affect you the way that it affects us and like i'm sure like i know it affects you guys yeah. there is a there is a level of compassion you have to have Agreed. to be that type of an artist. There's a level of empathy you have to have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you won't connect with. So let me ask, ask you a little racy question. That main, and this is this is just coming from a good place. So, do you and and honestly answer however honestly true or whatever. Here we do, go. Do you? Dun, dun, do, dun. Oh, let's go. Do you have black friends? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Cool. And and there's no shade if you don't because this is a learning. Yeah. Experience. No, all I good. can't judge but somebody I don't, for not. But I don't okay. throw it around like. Like, right. listen, all of this happened, and okay. my first thought went to, all of this happened this year, and my first thought went to all, the entire team that yeah. did my record that is coming out, which I think is so incredible because you wouldn't expect it, really. Right. Two black producers, two black songwriters, and their black manager have, we have formed this like yeah. Yeah. team For sure. that we walk into every situation together. And it's an alternative pop <laughs> thing. You know? 100%. 100%. And it's like, my, that's thought, where the vibes my thought immediately went to them and I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe. 
I never even thought about that, actually. My, that, but let me tell you, so, and the only reason I ask people this is it's not because I don't believe, because I feel vibes, and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's about, mm-hmm. you know, it's you can just have energy. That's all it is. Yeah. But what I will say is, at what point does it become a personal responsibility, not to project the idea that you have black friends, but to be cultured in the sense of, I don't want to say posting pictures on social media with black people, but it, do you feel like sometimes, like, maybe you could do a little bit more to be involved in the black culture so that it is prevalent. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain if I'm saying that right. No, I I I understand what you're saying. And I think think my big thing is, and this, it might be a little different for me because my following is bigger than Chase's. So Chase has a different set of rules. He can get away with, it's not even a getting away with thing. My thing is this. Yeah. I would never want my genuine mm. relationships with black with my black yeah. producers with my black friends i yeah. would never want them to feel like i exploited my friendship with them right so that people would to know that i'm not racist 100 yeah. percent, and that that's important i know that's important i know who i am yeah my friends know who i am yeah i don't need my instagram followers to to know that i'm not because in reality that's seeing all real of my anyway. friends like no, and I, exactly. and I think not that real. there are people out there that are exploiting their they relationships are. and things like that so that they can make sure that they appear mm-hmm. to be like... All the brands that are posting shit now, like, okay, we, we support Black Lives Matter. I'm like, I no, ain't never that's seen... Not, that's not real. I'm supporting Hell Black culture. No. I'm supporting Black culture yeah. by my entire team yeah. being right. black. Yeah. Like, I fuck with yeah. that. Those are all But also at the same time, Cece, like, I think maybe you should talk about that more, though. You should tell people that shit. And, and sometimes I know it may feel yeah. like it's disingenuous to say that, but how tight would it be if, like, you told people that your fucking team is black? Because I had no idea, but I knew you was... I know we were on the vibe. But at the same time, I think people need people like yeah. you who are saying that. Because it's like, yeah, we know. If, if I'm friends with y'all, yeah, it's one thing. But another black person looking in, it doesn't feel like that. So how do we break that or, or bridge that gap into people understanding that these are our friends. Like, these are our people. We grew up with them. Like, we know them. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think that comes with you being able to say, like, yo, today I'm, I'm shooting with, I'm, I'm producing with this person. Black team, what's up? Black squad. And it doesn't have to feel disingenuous because you're, like, presenting it that way. Well, here's the other thing. Yeah. Every time I post any of my work, yeah. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's the third time I've posted about my single. Right. My team is tagged on everything. Done. Done. Y'all, so, y'all that's remember what it that, is. man. So team tag, that's what's up. Team and I fuck with that. Team is tagged. Like, yeah. my, you, I don't care how many photos you've ever done of me, your yeah. name is on every single yeah. one. Yeah. Whenever I release, hey, my single's coming out. It right. was produced by Reezy Tunes, yeah. Sean Hamilton, fuck Yanni Blue, Chris yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Like, I will always give credit where yeah. credit is due, and that's what I'm doing. And I don't need to, like, yes. I don't need to exploit To that. be like, oh, hi, I'm with five it's black like, producers today. Like, no, right. I, yeah, because that like, feels weird, that, for sure. It feels disingenuous, and I know I know them well enough yeah. that I know that they wouldn't, Yeah, I know that that wouldn't feel for sure. like. And I'm just weird. playing devil's advocate here, no, by the way. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I'm like, for sure. I'm like, yeah, yeah, do, for sure. Well, let me ask you this, Yeah, just to also play devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that it's not enough that whenever... I guess at the height of all of the tension mm-hmm. with everything that happened with George Floyd. Yes. I I was extremely active on social media yeah. for a good stretch of time, hot, like hardcore right, right. supporting everything that was going on with the Black Lives Matter movement yeah. and also just getting justice right. for, for George Floyd. Okay. And lost thousands of followers. And, and, and every time I posted continued to invite followers to go ahead and yeah. push that unfollow button, not giving a damn yeah. about what my social media numbers were. Why do you think you lost followers? I'm just because, curious. because there are still people in this country that do not want to hear and out of the country about this. They don't want to hear about it. And, yeah. And it's, and I don't want to distract. So what is your question exactly? Re- do you think, do you think that, that was not enough support showing. I don't for think them. that that it is is up to me to decide whether it was enough or not because I think that it's about intent. Absolutely. And, and, and and honestly, it's like you could be like, oh, Cece posted ten times today. Okay, so she's down. It's not about that. 
Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what it's about? It's about using whatever your platform is to do the right thing that you feel. Absolutely. If you feel like that shit was fucked up, then say that shit was fucked up. Absolutely. And, and anybody who's and we saying. Did multiple mm-hmm. times. And even yeah. if, and even honestly, because here's the thing I'll give you an example. If you and me both, same shit happened. I'm from Minneapolis where George Floyd was killed. Yeah. If you posted and I didn't post, do you think that people will be coming at me because I didn't post because I'm black? They wouldn't. So that's what I'm saying. Fuck all that. Yeah. If you feel like you want to post some shit, mm-hmm. post some shit. Yeah. And if anybody who's coming at you for not posting some shit is a weirdo. Yeah. Because it's like you don't have to feel pressured of into course. anything that's unnatural to you. And I have because then it becomes disingenuous. Me. Exactly. But that's and what happens though. Is people jump onto that shit and it's <laughs> like, and it gets to the point where I go, yes. well, if I post right now, I'm going to I'm going to feel just as ingenuine as all of these other people. And I struggle with that. I actually struggled with I understand. Because I because I I do live in a life where I because have you want to prove have that you're down though, life. and that's what you got to get out of. You got to right. get out of the feeling like. But that's why I didn't <clears throat> I didn't jump on it quick because yes. I was like, I even spoke to some of my black friends about. Yeah, yeah. It. I was just gonna say that's what you texted had, we them had and talked to them about it and was like, man, what do you what's your take on this? I want to I want to hear your exactly. point of view. It, and we I struggle with posting about, about it because I was just like, yo, this is just gonna look like I'm jumping on some damn bandwagon, bandwagon that yeah. everyone's on. And social media, like, like I wish I could just like cock a gun and blow it all. To hell. You know what it's like? It's like <laughs> when, when your mom cooks dinner and your brother goes, "Thanks, mom, for dinner," and then you're like, "Fuck, I gotta say thanks, mom. Yeah, or I'm gonna like, feel like a weirdo. Or I didn't deserve it." Right. And it's like, no, because people show their intention right. and their support in different ways. And this is what I talked to him about, like, you know, white, the whole book, white fragility. It's like. We watched a video actually about like this racist and this woke person. They're basically saying the same shit. And what I want people to, to realize, and this is the message that I keep trying to fucking portray, when black girls get mad at white girls from wearing cornrows and like trying to s- create this separation, it's fucked up to me. Because it's yeah, like, you can't be down yeah. with the culture. We Post Malone, dub. all of us listen to Post Malone. All of us live in a tra- Travis Scott. We're all listening to the same shit. We go to Coachella together. We're getting fucked up together. We're going to the same concerts. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, now that it's convenient, now we want to separate. Oh, they're fucking racist in there. You know, I don't fuck with that. We're doing same. the same shit. We're all right. in the same generation banging the same shit. Yeah. yeah. We don't live in the world that, like, people are racist and we're like, oh, like, you have to wait in the back of the bus. We don't live in that situation. Yeah. Right. So it's like, why do we have to put that amount of guilt on white people now? You didn't enslave my fucking grandparents. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that That part is, and I know a lot of white people won't say this because it feels uncomfortable. It feels like they shouldn't be saying that. But I will say it. It's not fair the amount of pressure that we put on the young white youth. It's not. Could you be more conscious on understanding what's going on? For sure. Yeah. But there's no pressure. I do think that the youth is more conscious now than they've ever been. 100%. So that is a yeah. beautiful step in the right direction. Absolutely. But I also think that for as much as, for as loud as we were on social media, yeah. and as loud as we are on social media, I continue to repost. I continue to do. do yeah, but see, you do don't what have feels, to do that shit, though. I understand. You know what I'm saying? And you know, me, you ought to know me like, well enough to know that no. damn ghost pepper chocolate was sitting <laughs> on the damn table because I didn't want to fucking eat that yeah. thing, so I didn't yeah, eat that's it. True. Exactly. That's why right. You do, in control. You I don't in control. do shit I don't want to do. 100%. I'm like, yo, are we going for seconds, or what's the deal? Right, yeah. Right. So you want to get turned? <laughs> no, but my, but my point being is that yeah. for as much noise as we we made on social media. Yeah. We made just as much noise behind the scenes with nobody watching. And from where we come from, exactly. the truth comes out behind closed Girl. doors. So no. our, Social media is our, a lie, honey. Like, exactly. So our mm-hmm. conversations happened amongst our friends. Our conversations happened amongst people that we knew we were going to be going yeah. to battle with yeah. to talk to them and try to... We both come from small towns. like. Yeah. It, it's just so funny to me. It's just like, and, and if anybody were to ever say either one of you were like racist or like weird, and, and because I know you guys, and I'm just like, it's funny that people can actually have that thought because they feel like you're not down enough. And I feel like that is not fucking right, dude. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It's like we're all listening to the same fucking music. And also, Do you know like, what I, mean? yeah. I don't even know what down enough is, but I just know for sure that I yeah. like, I, I'm, you're not, you, I'm so blessed that yeah. my black producers have embraced me yeah. the way that they have and and really like just allowed yeah. me to be myself because yeah. I don't walk into the room with them and try to be anybody other than yeah. me. I don't try to like yeah. fit in with them or yeah. like or or be something that I'm not. Yeah. They right. they really uh, they just allow me to be who I am and I 
in turn allow them to be who they are. Yeah. And that's why I think that the music that we create together is so incredible because yeah. it has their flavor. <clears throat> it has my flavor. Yeah. And, and that's what all this shit is about it's all anyway. Love. It's, it's all like love. we right. all have different shit to bring to the table. So I like agree. be diverse and like bring it all bring yeah. it all in. So Yeah. But I, I love having that type of conversation with you. You know and like it's just like talking I, some real shit because and, and I feel like a lot of the times, especially with my black friends, they be like like low key like being so mean to white people. And I'm like, it ain't right. What's it like for you guys? It, oh, and is being an interracial relationship? I loved that TikTok that you posted that show. Oh, I we got a lot up. of fucking hate over that. Whenever you were like, I just don't want anybody. The, the little rascals okay. thing. So for so context. I loved it. I posted a TikTok and it was a scene from the little rascals. And it was like, um, do you want to go in there? And he was like, yeah, I just don't want anybody to see you. And basically the caption that I put <laughs> so was, good. when you have a white boyfriend during Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh my God, it's hysterical. It was so funny. Which I thought it was, but a lot of people were upset. Really? A lot of people were upset by it. And I, but were, it's it's obviously it's a, a joke. I told it's you're like, making fun of yourself. Come on, it's man. A joke. It's a it's a joke, but it's also there are situations that are, people are having that this has made certain people more divisive. Versus Absolutely. some people one, are coming one, together, hundred percent, but other people are actually being divisive. So for you to ignore that. These are actually conversations that are happening, whether yeah. it's like a group of only white people being like, man, this this like is getting a little ridiculous or yeah. a group of only black people being like, man, white people just took it too far. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then they're not knowing. Oh, yeah. Um, over here. Mm. I actually have a, a white boyfriend. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or even you like I'm sure there's there has been moments even for you, Matt, during all of this that you were like, well. I have a black girlfriend. I'm right. sure that's why you got like that's why I think it's so genius what you guys have done with this yeah. podcast is yeah. because like you you have taken this what could have been like a stigma or something that was uncomfortable in y'all's relationship during right. this mm -hmm. time and you just turned it on its head and was like <laughs> I'm just ready for like it to be over, dude. I'm same. like I'm from Minnesota, like we don't look at race. Like when I kick you, which I'm like, oh, so today I'm gonna hang out with my white friends. Like right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> so the motherfucking thing is like, what same. you mean? Like yeah. it ain't nothing but a thing. But yeah. like, I not just don't know if the other younger generation is on the same vibe, dude. I don't know. It just we're the feels, older generation. We man. are, and I just never feel like race is a thing for me. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If we just identify what the goal is, if the goal is to bring people together through unity then we just all need to get on the same page yeah. and unite because it's divided. It's divided in it's, the ideology yeah. of some people are more divided, some people are more unified than ever before. Yeah. But if it's clear dialogue like what we're having right now, then it becomes more obvious and apparent of where people stand and what we should be doing going forward. Right. Yeah. But if it's just a lot of noise of people posting this because they want to seem cool or po people posting this because they don't want to get canceled – then there's no clear message going forward. Right. Right. I feel like that's just just creating confusion. I also think you need to enter into conversations with the intent of better understanding the other person. Yeah. But that's I the think, biggest thing. But I think what has unfortunately happened during all of this is people are entering into conversation and their only point is to defend themselves. But let me ask you this. Do you honestly, so like when all this should happen, like you felt, obviously everyone felt the need to defend themselves, but only because they wanted to show that they weren't racist. But like, that feels like a lot. Do you know what I mean? Did you feel like you had to like say something to show people you weren't on that vibe? Because it's like, uh, you know what? I, think I don't remember. I didn't. No. I didn't. Okay. I don't think I, I remember having a visceral reaction and going, this is fucked up and I can't do, I, I, I literally can't help but say something. Yeah. Yeah. That that's what I remember. Right. It wasn't like, oh God, we better post something or otherwise people are gonna think we're not down. Like, it, right? It wasn't yeah. that. It was right. like, are, are you fucking serious yeah. that yeah. we are yeah. dealing with this yeah. in 2020? Yeah, that's. But I never thought I had to defend or or prove that I wasn't right. I, I no. Which I think, <laughs> if that doesn't even cross your mind, I think that you probably don't have an issue with racism at yeah. that point. Yeah, for sure. But, but I do get how, especially. You know, her have like if I had a bigger following right. on social media and shit, there is a certain amount of like people just waiting on you know people waiting on you to say something. Yeah. What is Cece gonna say? Let's hear what Cece's gonna say. Yeah. We watched uh, the Dave Chappelle special whenever I did. he whenever he was like, I know that you guys are all just like waiting to hear what I'm gonna say about yeah. this. Yeah. And like, 
I think that's what you're saying is there are people that not like yeah. not that we're on the level or of Dave Chappelle, but like no, y'all is you no. just ain't hit the hit the, hit the mark. You know what I'm saying? Y'all no, but Dave Chappelle that, level, you got to manifest now. Come on, <laughs> yeah. y'all. I'm just but the just fifth just that, like, best people comedian are in the waiting world. to yeah, hear right. what yeah. what you're gonna say about it, right? And no, I just I remember saying, oh wow, this is fucked up and we got to do something yeah and i and that's the tight part because it's like not it's not that we need you guys to assume responsibility it's just like be be the homie you know what i'm saying be the homie and be like yo that shit fucked up like that's really all it is if your friend yeah like if if someone wrongs your friends yeah exactly you go to bat for your friends exactly that's it black white asian anything you just say what up like no that shit was bogus but that's why before i went to social media i talked to my black friend that's interesting because i wanted to know how you feeling yeah and i need to know like we don't when you get comfortable with you know hanging out with all different races and you kind of you stop thinking about that you don't even think about that anymore and when yeah. something like this happens it's almost like well man let me hear what cuz i could sit here and go nah he don't even do this yeah. is di-. but but it's like nah he may not just he may not talk to me about that shit but like right. tell me what's really going on and yeah. i learned a lot yeah we just talked asking. to one of our black friends that's very very close yeah. to us one of our best friends yeah. and yeah. we were like Man, so should we go out and protest? Do you all, should we all go together? Like, what should we do? Yeah. What do you think? And yeah. they're like, no. And his his dad's a cop too. Oh shit, the Tough black world. fit. So black we heard that world. we heard that perspective right. of what it was yeah. like to be a black man with a cop, a cop father. father. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. So we learned a lot, man. And, it, and we dude, made it our we made it our duty to go out and learn as much as we could. And that's all you can ask for. And that's and what is, everybody yeah. else ought to be doing. I fuck with that. Go out and fucking inform yourself. Find out why yep. people are upset. Yeah. Why? Why are there people? Yeah. So upset about yeah. this. What is systemic? But then racism? also being like, okay with that. There's out. nothing wrong. With, it doesn't affect you. So there's no reason to like automatically know what's going on. And that's okay. You it know what does. I'm it does. It's okay. But also at the it same does time. Affect- it, no, I mean it, it. Kind of does. But what do you talk? What do you mean? I mean, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, if you. It doesn't. I mean, what do you? Well, what I'm saying is, you're saying that doesn't directly affect. It doesn't directly affect you when we talk about how black people are getting killed and pulled over. Okay, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Right. And so what I'm saying is like the fact that you are like making or taking the initiative to like go and inform yourself. That's tight to me. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's all it takes. Right. You don't got to be like, yo, fuck all this and fuck the power and fuck the man. It's just like taking initiative, and that's it. Because it's not about you being white. It's about you being a human and understanding that weird shit is going on. There it is. <laughs> and, and I that's think that's it. my, that was my point is that yeah. it, whenever you're in response to what you were saying, like it doesn't directly affect you. For, for me, I, I couldn't see it that way. Yeah. Because in my mind, like it's not a black or white issue. Af- it's a human, re- it's a human right. rights issue. Yeah. And, and for me, I'm a human. Yeah. And that does, that shit does affect me. And I know that. And here's the other thing. It kind of makes that's sense what di- you were that's saying. That's a totally different thing from what you're saying, though. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't directly affect you. It does not. No. But it, it, and that's why I but agree. But it does affect you because of your relationship and your love for humanity. Exactly. And black people and every exactly. color. Exactly. <laughs> and every sexuality. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, humanity yes, yes, yes. in general. I get and what you're saying. Sure that. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure it was clear. So yes. people hear and be like, what do you mean that affects you, bitch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. I, no <laughs> and I didn't want it to come <laughs> across oh, that no, way. Oh, no. I never come across that way. No, no. no. You good. You good. You good. No, no, no. We, we, we feel you. But yeah. I, yeah. I, and you just, as a human, you see what happened and you put yourself in that those people's shoes and yeah. you say, would I want that to happen to me? Would I want a cop's knee on my neck? Would I right. want a Fucking cop's knee minutes? on my nah. friend's or, neck? Or do I want to even, do I even worry about that shit? Exactly. Do I, I don't even have to worry about that when I get pulled over. I don't think, oh man, this might be it. You know what I'm saying? We got, I mean, we could go on this forever. Yeah, but yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I could literally could. talk about Oh no, we could for sure. <laughs> so we, we went to, we went back to Minnesota yeah. a couple of weeks ago and just kind of drove around and just seeing the amount of destruction as far as the businesses, Terrible. the small businesses. I mean, there's also foot lockers burned all the way to, gr- to the ground. Auto Crispy zones. Shit. Yeah, cr- <laughs> all <Wow>. crisp, <laughs> purely <Damn>. crisp and <laughs> brown and blacked all the way to the ground. And burnt ends. LA didn't. I was like, I was worried about some of the LA stuff going on. It's not even close. Not even close. Oh. Yeah, even well, we close. have videos. So, like, because you know, I'm from Minneapolis, I'm yeah. born and raised. 
And what I told him is it's very interesting because the high school that I went to was mixed. It was very diverse. Like me and my brother, my parents had been married for 30 years. And like our family environment was like my best friend is white. Right. We never had to realize, like deal with like a fucking like white person being like, oh, the N word. Like, nah, we was cool as hell. Everybody right. was listening to the same shit. Like yeah. it was never like that. It, it wasn't was, even part of the conversation. We don't give a fuck because everyone's like dressing in the same shit. Everyone has like retros on and like fucking bet, you know, mm-hmm. all the basketball team was like mixed. Like it was never like that. Yeah. So for me now, it's like, I wonder, is it the government who's trying to create a race war? Because it's like, I chill it. We chill up in here. You I know mean, what I mean? My conspiracy no, theorist know, ass man. believes that. I believe that there there is like <laughs> shit do. that has been pulled this year. Do you know that to- Leonardo DiCaprio's best friend in the world is Little Wayne? We can fact check, but I'm telling, <laughs> like, to think about that type That's of perspective. Amazing. I just want to see those two motherfuckers that hang out. Amazing. I want to hang out I mean? with them, too. That, like, I'm pretty sure that. they ran lines for the Titanic. Like Lil Wayne played Rose. Shut the fuck did. up. Are you lying? Oh my god. You he was have- like he was like, Don't see drown me. Jack, drown me. Jack. <laughs> don't leave. <laughs> don't let go. Yeah. 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 Don't you let you go. said that mm-hmm. and I was literally like Damn, Wheezy, Wheezyana. I was like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> but you know, like when, when, when Leonardo DiCaprio had to be in Django, and he basically, I read an article from Quentin Tarantino, oh, wow. which who profusely uses the N word, but we ain't gonna talk about it. Um, <laughs> basically, um, Leonardo DiCaprio had a really hard time saying the N word with the hard ER. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard time. Imagine. You know what I'm I saying? Imagine, yeah. And his role in that movie was. Ooh, it was rough. Wow, that's it was hard. rough. But then, so that's when I think about these things, and it's like, and and I think about like you know Diplo, who has a black baby mama. Mm-hmm. It's like we're not living in that yeah. world. No. I don't feel like I'm living in that world. All my homies, you know, what I'm saying, all my writing homies, everybody I know is like half white, half black. I'm never thinking like, wow, there's a fucking white guy in this session, like you know, right. like yeah, but yeah. you're naming a lot of people in our. This mindset is what I'm in, yeah. in in the art world, right? In the exactly. Industry, You're right. It's You're a different right. vibe. Yeah, yeah. It is. You a different You go vibe. back to the Midwest, and it is not like that. You're right. You're right. Yeah, and in the South. And, yeah, and You're in right. the South. And but like, who runs the media though? Do we or do they? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think shit gets blown out of proportion. I mean, w- yeah. It it here's the deal: every news story has to focus on something and exaggerate it. Hundred percent. And if you don't have another story, you push that story. You push that story, and sometimes. I feel like things get pushed so far that that pride starts to happen, and 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 the minute Agreed. a minute something you're associated with is getting a bad name, you want to stand up. And sometimes it, I just feel like uncultured people just don't take the time to learn. And what they do is they just start speaking, yeah, and they uh, start yapping, yeah. and they start defending their race, and they start defending. Yeah. We're not racist, and what happens is they end up showing all the inner racism that's been inside of them the whole time, <laughs> exactly, because yeah. they open their damn mouth without asking questions, yeah. And leaving their damn town to go visit somewhere else. Yeah. And, and see what life is like change. outside of 100%. the hole that you grew up in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Agreed, man. Anyway. Well, okay. So to end this, I want to ask you guys one question. Cool. And so for young kids who are like in the Midwest who want to like, you know, try and get a music career cracking, what would you what would you say to them? Like your best advice? Don't go to full sale. I'm yeah. just kidding. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's the college I went to. Oh, yeah. Give, <laughs> you give a little advice to people. I was just kidding. No, no, you're good. Yeah, give some, just kidding. give some advice to young kids who want to, you know, start a music career, who want to believe in themselves. What would you tell them? I would say this. If you have a passion for something, try it out and learn if it really is a passion. If you wake up in the morning and that's the first thing you think about, and it's the thing that keeps you up at night when you're trying yeah. to fall asleep, go for it. Even if you suck at it, try it. Go for it. Go for it. And people always say, like, you can live your dreams and fulfill your dreams. You can't just live your dreams and fulfill your dreams. You have to have a dying passion inside, yep. especially for something like the music industry. Yeah. Agreed. And and to piggyback off that, I will say, don't do it unless you have to. You Fucking yeah. have to. Unless for real. eat, breathe. You because know? it sucks. And yo, so homie, those 10,000 hours are for real. So start yeah. putting your hours it's in right hard. now. 100%. It is hard. So like, don't be afraid to take huge risks. Yeah. Like moving away. <laughs> don't be afraid to take huge risks. And 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 yeah. Just you have don't, to. You have to take risks. Just yeah. don't. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. Because who the hell wants to hear a song about how comfortable you are? Yeah. You feel me? So I always like to say this because I feel like I need this message to be. So I had an internship with Quincy Jones. And okay. one of the things he said to me, he said, sit in a room by yourself mm-hmm. 
and write down 10 things that you're good at. And one of those 10 things is your passion. That's one of the 10. Interesting. And you got to figure them out and do them all, whatever the fuck you need to do. But one of those 10 that's things. That's tight. You know? I like that. That's, that's it. That's amazing. That's I like it. that a lot. You're <laughs> professional lovemaker. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the Zad. Where, that, where does that fall on the list for huh? you? 10. 10. <laughs> 10, 10, 10. 10. With the 20s on. I give it a fucking 10. <laughs> Okay, we love you guys. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having Thank us, man. You. Thanks for pulling up to I'm Not Racist, My Friend's Bike. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop posting them goddamn motherfucking black squares. That shit don't mean a goddamn thing does. But what you can do is like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on to our podcast. Tune in.